Yes! Good evening, Bass Galaxy. This is the glorified version of a bass fishing talk show. Do you feel like I do? Do you feel like I do? Yeah! I want to thank you already <laughs> because we're excited. We were off a week and we're back. Man, it's the glorified version of a bass fishing talk show. Yes! This is not your normal uh, bass fishing uh, show. Just in case you're, you're tuning in. Just this show? Just this in particular. Or this show? This show in particular compared to that other show. That other one? That we don't even like know. from two weeks ago? The other shows we've done. Oh, okay. In particular, Sorry, this show. Clarifying. Right? Thank you for that. Yeah. Clar clarifying statement. Yes, sir. Um, is unlike any other show. Uh, and tonight on this show... We are very, very proud to bring to you um, some, some heroes of ours, some legends of the sport. Uh, Tommy Sanders, the first guy coming on. <laughs> We're a little happy. We're a little happy. Yep. Old Sancho. Second time coming on, though. Yes. Well, Tommy's yeah. been on. Th this well, is our second feature for Tommy. And second feature. Yeah, yeah, he's been on for some miscellaneous shenanigans. It's a double feature, like everybody. He, Tommy comes on because Tommy always brings good cheer. I always call him around Christmas God, and get him yeah. on around Christmas time. And he has cool hats. Tommy, oh my God, always, can you add me to that call? Huh? <laughs> I need some cheer from Tommy yeah, around Tommy's Christmas Tommy's always sometimes. full of cheer. There, there's no doubt about it. And... Uh, Another guy that's uh, full of cheer one way or another, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, he is the eyes of bass fishing, James Overstreet. J.O. You don't mess around with James Overstreet, right? No. You don't. You can tug on uh, Superman's cape, and you can pee pee in the wind. But He's a hell you, of a nice guy, you, but yeah, you, you don't mess around with old end. James. Yeah. That's correct. You don't. Uh, and then, of course, we have a uh, Mysterio guest. Mysterio guest coming on uh, from Bass Nation, from Bassmaster. Like, yeah, you, you think you know who it is? You don't know who it is. That's all I'm saying. You are not. This will be the first time that a, mis a mystery guest has ever appeared via hologram. Like you oh, may really? Yes. You may have seen, like, Walt Disney appear via hologram on shows. Like on a baseball card. Thank you. But this is going to be like a hologram appearance of Michael Jackson. Wow. Oh, dang it. Gave it away. Son of a gun. <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking, of, uh, uh, <laughs> speaking of giveaways, see how I did that, guy? Speaking of giveaways, every single Wednesday, we give away stuff here on Stray Cast. Don't we? Don't yes. Don't we? Yes. JP, what do we give away? Oh. I'm getting a bad echo. Where is that coming from? Well, JP, what, what are we giving away? We're giving away uh, $50 worth of Bite Me products, quality you can trust. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dependability and quality and you can trust. A1. Yes. Kevin Van Dam, line and lure conditioner. Line and lure conditioner. Slick, slick, slick spray. Outcast, outlast. There it is. Um, Out function. And we usually just give away Don't one $50 prize pack, the one lucky contestant on Stray Cast. But tonight, it is two prize packs, and all they have to do was what, JP? What do the, what do the viewers out there need to do? All they got to do is like and share this live feed. Like and share the live Facebook feed. Take it off a of private. Boom. So everyone can, so JP can see it in the randomizer, basically. Yeah. Uh, we're going to pick the winner. Uh, and um, Matt Robertson, Anum, is coming on at the end of the show. Nice. And when Matt comes on, we're going to talk uh, with Matt about a few things going on with him. Uh, but we are going to also talk about, as well, the, uh, the prize winners. Matt's going to help us with that in his own, Sweet. In his own special way. He's, if you know on, I mean. he's on him. He's on him. He's on always him. on him. He's always on him. Hey, uh, speaking of always on him, uh, you know that uh, that this gentleman over here with the 50, 50th Bassmaster Classic uh, Henley shirt. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ryan Popcorn Elias Whitaker. What's up? Yeah, he's here. He's got his hat on backwards. I am here. And his hat's on backwards and his beard is on frontwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to wear that on my back. Good actually. job. Good job, Ryan. Thank you. I'm just saying Thank good you. job. It's words of encouragement. Good. Yeah. Clarifying yeah. and encouraging. Hello. Words. <laughs> How you feeling, Ryan? I feel good. You're the Lord of the Derb. You've been kicking butt, bro. You got a bunch of people mad at you. <laughs> 
I like Durbin. <laughs> They're all mad at Ryan because he keeps winning. Mm, Ryan, uh, speaking of winning, uh, we know that every Wednesday night here on the Straycast, outdoor cartoon television glorified version of a bass fishing talk show, yes, sir. that we have a magical tin cup whiskey word of the week. And tin every time whiskey. every time we say that word or one of our guests say that word, you take a, a, a shot of, of tin cup whiskey or whatever beverage of your choice may be. Or just scream like on Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yes. But Exactly. Take a sip. It's a drinking game. So, Ryan Popcorn Elias Whitaker. Yes. What is the tin cup whiskey word of the week? The word of the week is elite. 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 The best of the best. Elite. Yes, sir. So, that might be said a few times tonight. Yeah, so, we might say elite. If you hear the word elite uh, uh, right there, and uh, you take a little uh, Wachaco Badango right Knock there. Knock him back. See you there? That's, that means, yeah. uh, that means uh, take a shot and a lick and a promise in bass and talk. And if you're lucky enough, like we are, to have this little novelty, cute little... Just, just adorable little tin cup bottle. Yeah, Luke Foley Look gave me that little one in in Ireland, where in Scotland, where I come from, they call that the pequeño size. Ooh. Yes, in Scotland. Uh, I like that word. I don't know it, what it means. It's called the pequeño size. Uh, someone who is not <laughs> a pequeño size whatsoever. In fact, he is mucho grande, and he's the best damn engineer producer in this freaking room. Can I be so straightforward? Ladies and gentlemen, he's red on the head, just like a dang producer should be. It's Andrew Ellenberger, the ginger Yo. How are we doing? What are you doing, Ginge? Uh, nothing. Ready for this one. Dude. Are you excited? It's going to be a good one. Uh, Tommy Sanders is a legend. It's a beyond. Uh, James Overstreet is a legend. Yeah. Our hologram guest is <laughs> yeah. a legend. He's amazing. Um, from beyond the grave, if I just may give some more away. <laughs> yes. Uh, but, um, man, I'm, I'm really excited, Ginge. And uh, it's, it's not uh, – here's the thing, and we talk about this all the time, but you got to remember, man, like, we still fanboy out on this crap. You know what I mean? This is the real world. Especially tonight. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or, or do we even live in a real world? Yeah. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Um, but I know one thing that everyone in the real world and, and even in fake worlds and even in worlds beyond, everyone loves meat. Right? <laughs> right? That's a true statement. Don't you? I mean, am I? You, you go ahead and argue with me. <laughs> uh, get the vegetarians. Uh, what, what's her name? Uh, Gina. Uh, get, Gina? She, she can call up too. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, have her call up. Uh, but everybody loves meat. And you know who brings us the best Wagyu beef to Stray Cast? I do know. Who? Bubba and Hank. Bubba and Hank. That's right. Bubba and Hank. And all you need to do to get fine Wagyu beef to your door is put in code FISH at BubbaandHanks.com. Uh, gets you 15% off. Code word FISH. Save some money. There it is right the there. The gift of meat. <laughs> the gift of meat keeps getting. Hey, Andy, how the hell did you get back there? Don't worry. It's, yeah. All right. it's a secret. Wait, why? He got, Andy has a trap door. I don't even know how he gets in there. How did he get a trap? It's like a doggy Does door that go something. into my through my fishing room? Yeah. Does he like come up through the floor? I got an elevator out back. That's pretty ah. amazing. Yeah, I, he's I, got a rope swing. BTC <laughs> gave me some instructions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how Brian has to get into yeah. the Iconelli compound because they locked all the doors. <laughs> so Brian had to dig a tunnel that gets him to his producer booth. So I see you following suit and very good. Yeah. Escape hey, ladder. Two good. best in the business. Two best in the business uh, right there. Um, speaking of best in the business, I want to let you know that here at Straycast, um, we are willing to help you get into a brand new boat. We are, um, and we're gonna give you a boost. Yeah, we're gonna do it differently than a lot of other people may do it. We're going to do it with warm human compassion. Do you know what that means? Warm human compassion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hands on, man. If you are seriously interested in um, in getting a Crestliner boat, you can direct message us, and and we will put you in touch with a real live human uh, person. Named Ryan from Crestliner. Yeah, that's, and you you practiced you. last week by getting some raccoons into your Crestliner. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They they're going. You to, gave you gave them a boost with they, compassion. They might <laughs> they might die and they might not die. I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Eating later. painted balsa is probably not good for your stomach. That, uh, Ira's mad. I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, you know what? Uh, this week, uh, when we went uh, shopping on Carl's, uh, Ginge called me up and 
And uh, he's like, dude, they got the uh, they got the jackhammers, bro. They got the uh, they got the. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, he's like, they wait, got you, you didn't yeah. tell me. Well, yeah, because he because well, <laughs> yeah, you I jerk. Well, <laughs> well, he didn't tell me either. He got them all. He, Jin, them Jin's just like, yeah, well, I I call I used the straight cast account and I got all the uh the, what do they call them? Finesse clear chatter chickens. What are they called? Yeah. Stealth. 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 Yeah, so, I got some. If yeah. You need one. No, yeah, thanks, Chad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, shopcarls do dot com. A couple two three. They have the uh, the clear uh, stealth uh, yeah. chatter uh, chickens. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Hey, half a spot. Official.com. Um, sign up now uh, for half a spot online tournaments. Also, download the app on your your iPhone or your Android uh, phone. It's that easy. Um, dude, uh, I think we're running it down uh, right here. I want to say a special thank you to uh, to our new intern, uh, Jake Haas, new Danny. <laughs> you ever see the? Uh, did you ever see Family Guy when they got a new dog and it was new Brian? Yeah, so, yeah, but this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much. Uh, Jake Haas is kicking butt and helping me out a great deal with the uh, with the social media. So uh, give it up for Jake Haas right there. Kapow, chung, chang, chow. Yeah. So Jake. Jake is a big fan of Ryan Whitaker. He really is. He was. You no, know, he does, you don't, whatever. You know, whatever. I'm under the bus now. <laughs> <laughs> under the L de Barge. Hey, uh... You know what we should do at this point? We should really get ready uh, to serve up a giant platter of fun stew and giggles dumplings. And uh, I am going to do it in, uh, in true uh, uh, Renwick style. I'm going to have my, my mom's going to bring up a big bowl of, of it for everybody during, during the break. Um, so uh, I'm Pat Renwick. Put the power poles down. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, it's the legend, Thomas Sanders. See you in a moment. XF Series by Crestliner. Simplistic perfection with performance features built on a platform for success. The amazingly affordable XF Series by Crestliner. A brand new way to reel in bass. For more information and to find your local dealer, visit Crestliner.com today. The Crestliner Real Deal Sales Event. The best time to buy is now at Crestliner.com. Save up to $3,000 today. Hey, it's Carl, and I've got some big plans this fishing season. I'm hoping to get in the best shape of my life to have some of the best fishing of my life. And I want you to join me for Carl's spring training. Let's get it. Let's get it. He's been referred to as America's sportscaster. He's the voice of bass fishing. Ladies and gentlemen, he is America's heart warmer. We bring to you the legend, the iconic Tommy Sanders. Yes, Tommy. Mr. Sanders. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm amazed this is work, and I've been having all kinds of trouble here. Are it's you so good to see you? You too. I, I, yeah. Can you hear everything fine? I'm I'm hearing it perfect now. It, oh. it all comes together at the last second, the, apparently. There it is, and the angels spoke. <laughs> yes. As your voice, Tommy mm. Sanders. 
Well, that's <laughs> short of the angels somewhere. It, dude, it's been a while, man. I mean, yeah. we, we haven't had really a powwow in, uh, I think, the when was the last time that, that Tommy was on, Andy? 17 or something? I think it was 2017. Yeah, maybe 2017. And, uh, and you, of course, you've made some Christmas appearances as the ghost of Christmas past and present yeah. on a few <laughs> shows. Did amazing <laughs> as that. Um, but before we get going, I really, um, I really need to let you know a couple things sincerely. Um, that especially speaking from a bass fishing fan from the north, okay? Um, I, I think you know, Tommy, we're about 20 miles south of Chicago here. Yeah, um, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Bears, bulls, dick, uh, sausage, pizza, the whole shkaboats. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I know ex <laughs> where you're coming from, bro. Thank you. I know. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. That was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, the hard A. But, like, winters were just a time of, like, <sighs> mm. especially here in, in the Chicago land area because we couldn't bass fish. But there was just, there was this voice, man. And that voice was on on Saturday mornings, and we would wake on the on those those droll winter mornings to to that voice of you, Tommy Sanders, and you warmed our hearts. Yeah. I said you are a heart warmer. I mean that, dude. Like, yeah, like whatever. I you are you are humble, as the kids would say these days. You are humble AF. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I, I hear the kids, and I hear you too, Pat. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tommy, I didn't watch uh, cartoons much as a kid. I, I watched you introduce my favorite fishing shows on ESPN. Yes. That was my cartoon. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much, Popcorn. Ryan Popcorn, Elias Witter. Thank, thank you, Ryan. I do appreciate that. It, that, that, that was, that, thank you. I've, I've been very lucky to be able to do that. And and I didn't know it was such a heartwarming thing. This this is this is sort of filling in all the, all the, all the parts of the puzzle here. It's not just us. <laughs> it's not just, yeah. believe me, it's not. <laughs> it's only us, Tommy. The um, okay. <laughs> but I, I want to tell you something, man. Like I want see. I went to Chicago, and I didn't even attend it. I want to <laughs> tell you something, Tommy. Um, yeah. Okay. But, like this is before internet, before before all the fancy pants stuff. Like I remember multiple mornings waking up at six o'clock in the morning and being like. Oh my God! I don't have any any VHS tapes. I need to go to Walgreens real quick. Where's the 24-hour CVS? I gotta get tapes because I gotta get back in and I gotta get the ESPN block taped because there's all kinds of good stuff on there and Tommy's on there and, and a lot of my bass on there and the Bass Masters and then Bri Byron Velvick's talking about swim baits and and, <laughs> and and Shaw Grigsby's doing stuff and then Mark Menendez has his dog and everything else and and Tommy Sanders. You you put yourself through a lot of stress. I did, you, and you I know, got the VHS <laughs> and 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 I I I mean this in the most um, sincere and flattering way I have studied you, Tommy. As creepy as that sounds, I, I have. Oh, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see Steve Buscemi in that Sandler movie where he's putting the lipstick on up in his room at the... Uh, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore, yeah, yeah. yes. Glad I called that Florida, guy. I, I, I'm kind of getting a feel for it now. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Glad yeah. I called that guy. But, uh, <laughs> but, but seriously, man, I mean... That is the reality of what you are to us bass fishing fans, Tommy. And and I have to say that um, on behalf of everyone. I am speaking for the entire bass fishing galaxy. So if we could now please all give it up for Mr. Tommy Sanders and, oh, well, and, and how he, yeah, thank you. how you warm our heart. Thank you so much. I, I do. And now, see, you're carrying on. Now there's a whole generation of youngsters coming up who have to be there for your show. Because that's their connection to the same things you were connecting to back in the day. God so, help So you know that's kids. the way it that's the way it connects down through the down through the down through history. The the, the human comedy goes on. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> or the human tragedy, as many okay, refer to well, it as. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Tommy. We'll get into your acting later. But yeah, the, yeah. Um, but man, I mean, seriously. Um, so here, there. Um, you know, um, I want to give you an example. Of not, okay. of not how you only touch us and many other bass fishermen, fisher people, but also the people you work with. Um, and, and then I'm done kissing your ass, and we're getting on to the regular BS after this, okay? okay. But but the uh, <laughs> but I love the non-regular BS. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Much as I love regular. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> but um, so I was I was speaking uh, with Emily Hand uh, from Bass. Yeah. And yeah. she said this was very strong. She said that um, I see Tommy 
maybe once a year. And he is still my favorite person at work. Oh, well, that's why. Well, thank you, Emily. Yeah. Emily is just a, a, a darling person and, a, and just a great person to work with and a very proficient, uh, you, you know, really a, 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 a really, you know, top level person to work with. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, uh, I, I, my my, uh, my words fail me. She's so good. And I, and I gave that example um, basically to show you just exactly um for lack of a better way just different tiers of 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 how you affect people tiers or levels i mean bass fishing fans fellow employees um guys like uh, old malachi zona you know how you've affect, affected their you know their lives i mean dude that's where I'm going to leave it, okay? So thank you. Tony. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Pat. I thank you kindly for that. That is so nice. I, I, and I mean it sincerely, as we say on this show. Sincerely. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a little verklempt here. I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to choke up a little bit. Can you bit maybe cry? <laughs> can we get this as a clip of the week, Tommy? You I, wanna, I might could. Yeah, can you think? I might could. You, you know, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a well-known fact. Women cry because they have a deeper emotional depth than men. Yes. Men cry because they're unprepared for the situation. <laughs> men cry. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, there? I sure yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or panic. So, yeah. So or... I may well cry. I may well cry. <laughs> Fight You'll or have flight. To excuse me. Yeah. As a, as a huge Cub fan. You are my Pat Hughes of bass fishing. Well, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing I'm going to say. All right, all awesome. right. I hold you I'll out. You that. guys, you, you could slide into his place, and I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> um, Tommy, your 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 accolades include member of the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame. Amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. Um, uh, the is isn't it the Arkansas uh. Outdoors. Outdoors. Hall of, Hall of Fame. That's pretty dang cool. I got the plaque here somewhere. I'll hold it up in a minute. Nice. <laughs> I, I, yeah. That's it. When we when we have champions on the show, they do those kind of things often. And I'm being <laughs> I'm serious. There's been a many a Bassmaster Classic champion hold that trophy up on this show and we're pretty well, proud. Well, God of bless them. They should do it, right? <laughs> exactly. As yeah. as yeah. should you. As should you. My <laughs> my my point. Um so I, I want a couple a couple other um, quick facts, and of course, um, I like to believe it or not, I actually research. Do research for this show, Tom? Yeah, I do. I believe it. No, I, I believe I, it. I, well, you're you're a hard working man. You're hardest working man in show business. Well, thank you. I'm like the James Brown of me. You, you, know what you I mean? really are. Well, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Although it's somewhat like I was just thinking. I was watching some of the previous shows a little earlier. It looks like it looks like the guy who's the lead singer for Cheap Trick hosting the Tonight Show. Yeah. You wow, know, that's, that's, that's I, what that's the visual you get before you get. Thanks. The audio good night, everybody. Right. I retired at that moment. Peace, <laughs> Robin Zander. <laughs> the Robin magic Zander, of Robin exactly. Zander and Cheap Trick. Yeah. Cheap Trick's right, yeah. wow. right from this well, area too. That's, that's I mean, perfect. hey man, I I like that. I like that you said that because it is kind of a Tonight Show. And it's a Chicago. Yeah. 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 Rockford. Yes. We yeah, have three, my hometown. We have three yeah. rules on this show, Mr. Sanders, and that is that we okay. um we do we make fun of everything with the exception of uh Rick Clun. Good. Jesus. Wise. That's Jesus. wise. We don't make fun of Jesus either. No, no, no. no. Those there's the two and only. Nor nor Mike Ditka. <laughs> nor Mike Ditka. None they're off limits. You, Got everybody it. else, on limits. The, the, everybody go. <laughs> but I will conform. I will conform to that. <laughs> just, just, just laying it out on the line. But yeah, I appreciate um, it. So I don't believe. I know that on on the last show that we did not talk about this with you. Um, I kind of knew a little bit about it, and I really want to know how much this is actually true. Has it? Are you? Have you actually? been in four motion pictures i, I guess i have uh, I, I can't remember all of them but very pretty small parts you know this but is still. when they come to town and i was in the in the business and people say come come do this do the scenes so, well i gotta yeah. put my i gotta put my spectacles on for, for this okay Tom, it, uh, you um you played uh smiley one of your characters was smiley in the Ernest green story the, the, they're very, very good. Uh, That's a pretty good movie, actually. That that was actually, you know, the, not bad. The Ernest Green story with Tommy Sanders as Smiley, and you were like a campaign manager or something, or uh, I, I was like one of the henchmen for the governor for oh, Governor oh, Fall. Yeah. Governor Faubus was a historical figure, not in a good way in Arkansas, and I, I was so, one of his henchmen. You can you can see it on YouTube. You can I'm I'm there right after the scene with Ossie Davis. So <laughs> Tommy the henchman. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Pretty I, cool. I was sort of, I was sort of political operative. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like the IRA. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, or the IRS. <laughs> yeah. Run after, run after. The um, yeah. Um, Spencer's dad. You also played Spencer's dad. What is that? Spencer's dad. What's Spencer's, Spencer's dad? dad? Spencer. Oh, oh, that's a movie. Uh, uh, that. Uh, yeah, Damon McKinnis did. That's a, that was an independent local movie that Damon McKinnis did. Okay. Uh, not too long ago, just a few, just a few years ago. Gotcha. And it's a short. It's a, it's a short film. A short film. So, yeah. Is it yeah. artsy? Like, did you? It's artsy. It's a little bit artsy, but did... it, but it's, but it's, uh, it's all heart. You know, it's good. Did you have one of those French hats on? No, no, I did not. No, I did not. You know, have a striped shirt and smoke cigarettes or anything. Like that. <laughs> that would be awesome if you mimed as well. It would yes. it? Would I ask if I could? You also no. played Tom Chance Senior. Tom Chance Senior. Who's that? Wow, I have no idea. Yeah, you played Tom, Tom Chance, Chance Senior. Senior. Is there a movie title? Can someone tonight? Google that? Tom Chance Senior, Tommy <laughs> Sanders, please. Uh, yeah, uh, and give me that. That's a big ask from Google right there. Well, that sounds so obscure as I to didn't, be almost out of I didn't Google. write the names of the movies down intentionally just because I figured you'd tell me. <laughs> See, I mean, I got Tom Chance Jr. Tom hmm. Chance Jr. Jr. or I, senior? Or senior. I senior. Said senior. Maybe I said junior. Senior. Hmm. Suit said Purple Dragon. Purple Dragon. <laughs> oh, Purple Dragon. Yeah, that's another one by Damon McKenna. So. Or the so, Purple, yeah. Monster. Okay, Purple, Purple Monster. Purple Monster. Purple Monster. Purple Monster. Yeah. That's what it yeah. is. I remember reading now. Purple Monster. Yes. Yes. yes the yes, old purple yes. monster. Yeah. <laughs> Don't Google that, please. Yeah, Don't be careful. Go. Careful. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and reporter number one. Reporter number one. What movie was that? That was a movie. I can't remember the name of the movie, but it was uh, Tim Curry was in it from okay. uh, what's what's the famous cult movie uh, uh, that Tim Curry was in Tim uh, that Curry. they showed used to show at midnight. You know, at Rocky movie Horror Picture Show. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes, sir, shows. I got you Tim, now. Yeah, he's like a Jagger Tim type. Curry, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was about a, an, an evangelist who, 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 uh, uh, you know, got this giant uh, crowd of, uh, of acolytes whipped together, and uh, he was a phony and a fraud, and Tim Curry was, 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 uh, was uh, one of the main characters in there. And I was, I was the TV reporter there. It was a very small part, as a matter of fact. But but, dude, uh, I've, got, I've got Tommy Sanders' IMDB page pulled up right now. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, later, we will share that. <laughs> because I do not believe that you do not get the accolades for your acting skills. <laughs> like, well, well I'm being serious. It's so hard to find. I well, mean, it's like, you know. I did one hey, Google search. First thing came up, Tommy Sanders, here, IMDb. Here's the deal, okay? Um, Like, just to say, like, yeah, bro, I was in a movie. Like, that's. I don't know. That's that's pretty cool. Like if, if you were a single guy, you could get babes all the time with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can act. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. If if they if they were good enough at Google to find those little parts, <laughs> you, know, you show I, I up with okay. your French hat and the cigarette and the striped shirt. Yeah, the shirt, cigarette. Yeah, I kind of push it along. That way. Too scared to laugh. Did we mention that one? Uh, that, that's another one. Too what, scared to laugh. What was too scared to laugh? What was too your... scared to laugh was about an evil clown. Oh, who, uh, that, 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 no. was, that was like before all the uh, the current, uh, you know, who's the, the clown with the, the it comes out of the sewer. The yeah, yeah. yeah, this was way back. This was 25 years ago. So you invented that before Stephen yeah, King. Well, then, no, that's, no, else that's, the, it, that's what we're saying. You invented it. You invented it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. So Good enough. you were in a movie with an evil clown. But yeah. Yeah. And and your yeah. buddy, your your buddy, your your henchman, let's call him henchman. Uh, Z hates clowns. Oh yeah, oh like, yeah, yeah. Famously, famously does not like clowns. And like, yeah, has, has a total distaste for clowns. And and you know that is um part of the spawn of his admiration for you, Mr. Sanders, is that um you are fearless. Like you are not even afraid of wacko clowns. <laughs> I guess I guess maybe that's right. If I have one thing in my favor, that's I'm not I'm not afraid of. But I don't think Zona's afraid of. Him. I just think he detests them. No, yeah, he well in his in his book he thanks you um, for um, helping him uh, be a stronger human because of your relentless fearlessness of clowns. That's the quote in the book. <laughs> well, I'll I'll take that. I, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm I'm happy to help. Yeah, no, it's a, I mean, oh shoot, I wasn't supposed to talk about the book. Damn. Yeah, what what did you what what book are you talking about? Son, no, I don't know. I have no. It's too late now. It's out now. I Come have on. no clue. Hey Tommy, all. All right. um, would you uh, would you mind? Uh, going out to dinner with me let's go down let's go out to dinner let's go to a fancy restaurant and uh sure yeah yeah let's go uh let's let's where do you want to go in chicago um let's you pick you pick 
gosh, I don't know many good places in Chicago. I know uh, Lowry's. Lowry's. The people at Lowry's, right? That's yeah, the, sure. the, the prime rib place. Yeah, you know? buddy. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that's a that's yeah. a that's a let's, Chicago uh, place, right? Let's go to Lowry's. Absolutely. And do you want to take us to Lowry's? Did you already get the uh, the Uber? Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I can hear the pianist yes. in, the, in the in the lobby. Yeah. Hi, uh, Renwick. Party for two. Hey, that's us, Pat. Yeah. Let's go. Come let's on. Let's go come in. Come okay. On. Let's sit down. Take it easy on the mints, there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just five. I just said five. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. Like Thanks, man. Thanks, Dad. You know, uh, I, I kind of want to get to uh, to know you a little bit. I just want to ask you some questions, just on a, on a human level. Fair enough. Let the human wheels spin round and round tonight, okay? Yeah. Shall we? Shall we, yes. Johnny? Yes, please. Um, I, I want to know, what's a perfect day to you, Tommy Sanders? What's a perfect day? A perfect day Yeah. is when I roll up to some place I've never been before. And I, it's, it's usually like a small town or just a little place out in the country. And I, I get to get out of the vehicle or how, whatever conveyance I arrive in and just sort of walk around. And, and uh, you know, be as anonymous and, and, and unobtrusive as I can and, and just, just see what, what it's like for people who live there and what people enjoy doing and, and what's, what's, what's the sights, what's the history, stuff like that. I'm, I'm sort of a, I guess it's kind of old school, you know, sort of tourist, like a professional tourist. A, a, a perfect tourist day Let, is, a, yes. is a great day for me. Or yeah. let's call it in your case, Tommy's Urban Safari. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. Good. Yeah. Tommy's Urban Safari. How's yeah. that? It goes hand like in hand it. with fishing. Yes. You know? Absolutely. You sure. go to a new oh, lake you're and a very see what the fish are ob- like. Observant and... gentleman. Yeah, yeah. New new lake, new river. And Tommy, th- like that. Yeah. Thank you so much for not starting your perfect day with "I woke up." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not saying that. Uh, woke that's up. a given, but maybe it shouldn't be. Even the Beatles yeah. did it, right? Woke up, got out well, of bed, yeah. and let's go home across. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they even yeah. did it. Tommy, he's better than that. He is. Better, you're better than the Beatles, Tommy. <laughs> hey, no, don't say that. You know. <laughs> the Beatles, Beatles said they were bigger than someone else. Yeah, John right. Lennon got in trouble right. for that. Yeah. Yes. He did. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that's one of the guys we're not going to crack on. Thank right? you. Thank nope. you very yeah. much. Thank you very yeah. much. Hey, yeah, I heard you do a little Chicago impersonation or dialect. Yes, that's right, Pip. <laughs> Fish location presentation system on this week's In yes. Fisherman Magazine. They're stacked and chewing in there. <laughs> this is the time we got to move in and exploit the situation. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> People say there is no God. I I, I would offer this as, as evidence that there is. <laughs> uh, I would go home now, but I'm home already. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, I am too. What about that? Tommy, so do you do other impressions besides a Chicago or impersonation? Oh. How about an impersonation of someone? Of, oh, gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I do any impersonation. If, if anyone that... Anyone it, your age would remember. It doesn't you know. matter. I don't care. Yes. This is for this show's for us. We, Tommy, it's just it's mano y mano, man. It's mano y mano. Okay. We're at the restaurant. We're at Lowry's, dude. How about the late Paul Harvey? <laughs> yeah. Pat, do you yeah. remember Paul Harvey? I sure do. <laughs> Commentary about three minutes, about noon, on your least favorite radio station every day, and a fellow by the name of Pat Renwick started his show back in. Well, who knows? 1997. <laughs> <laughs> and now he is mistaken on the streets for the guy who sings for Cheap Trick. And now you know the rest of the story. There you go, Catherine. Oh, thank you, Paul Harvey. Oh, Tremendous crowd you have in there. Like oh, it's for you, buddy. Oh. They're for you, believe me. <laughs> it's not us. It's not us. Hey, uh, um... Now, I need you to not be humble AF right now. Okay. okay. And uh, I need to know when you first realized that your voice was a gift. I, you know, I, I guess uh, I, I never had any reason to think that until we, uh, we built, when I was in college, we built a college radio station. We started our own college radio station there and, uh, you know, started doing stuff. And, and I would go in there and I, I'd learned how to work the reel to reel machine and we do promos for things like that and i could i could kind of make it sound almost like i wanted it to not quite but i could go so so i thought then well you know okay i i, I can i can i can do that it's not worth a lot right now but i can do that i, I think back in college yes would be the answer <laughs>
nice. Okay. Uh, it, it was like, it was a, was it, um, was it like a, a very clear moment? Was it something like, yep, this is it? No, 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 it wasn't. It, it was like, you know, maybe I can do this. And then I got a job at a real radio station that summer. Uh, like, like the first actual free form rock station in, in my, in, in Arkansas. And I was a terrible DJ because I would be at a loss for material. You know, I'd, wow. I'd, I'd say something and then I'd like, anything I say is going to be stupid now. So I just would shut up and there'd be this dead air, which is death on the radio. And then they'd play the record and then, you know, the, the program director would come back, stick his head in the door. And all he had to do was look at me. I go, I know, I know. I, I, I'm, I'm terrible. So you know, Here's Van Halen. I'm a short timer. Here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hey, um, Tommy, I want you to imagine bass fishing as a pyramid, okay? Okay. Or yeah. a triangle, okay? Yeah. Let's have it. And I want mm -hmm. to know what each corner of that triangle represents in bass fishing. We're getting deep, man. Boy, what are, are the three deep. points of bass fishing? Pyramid power. Yes. Okay. The three points. Bottom right, as you look at the pyramid, okay. is aspiration. And by that, I mean, bass fishing is a sport where it is unlike tennis. It is unlike golf. It is unlike just about every sport there is. Even darts, you have to have some physical prowess that you're born with. It's a gift that was kind of established on the day you were born. Okay. A certain a, a hand-eye coordination a birthright. in order to reach in order to reach a, a high level, maybe not the top level, like the like the Bassmaster Elite series, but to, to reach a high level. But in, in bass fishing, if you have the the passion, and if you have are lucky enough to have the other circumstances, you have the time, you have the funds, you have the resources to pursue that passion and spend time on the water. You can you can fish your way to a pretty high level, not not an elite level, okay. uh, but I I think you can get to where you can compete in in opens and things like that if if you are sufficiently so so aspiration it's an aspiration right. more than any other sport it's an aspirational sport so that part of the pyramid is aspiration okay gotcha all right okay yes sir all right so on the other side there's three points in the pyramid that as you look at it so on the on the left side what would that be that that would be um. That, that 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 represents bass fishing. I, I would think it is a never a, a unapologetic, unceasing learning. Oh. Learning. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, never you, you, stopping. You, never feeling you're like a pro, bro. Never I, feeling like you I know when you, you think you know it all, you know that someone's gonna sneak up behind you and just push you off a cliff. Yes. It's, it's it's that it's that feeling of always that I'm behind the curve. I got I got to learn this. I got to get better at this. I have to figure out this. And, and and guys have to do it every day. You you think of what they have to have to learn. You you can't just develop a set of skills and go out there and and, and do it. You have to keep constantly learning if you're going to compete at a high level. And, and the top of the pyramid. The big one. This is the top. Can we get a drum roll for this, please? <laughs> I want a drum roll for Tommy Sanders top of the pyramid. It's resourcefulness, imagination, because when someone who's trying to win a tournament can think of some way to distance himself from the crowd physically or mentally or technique wise, and, and it's different every time, every situation is different. The top of the pyramid is resourcefulness and imagination. Tommy Sanders nailed so it. So that would be the pyramid. That is the bass fishing pyramid of life. <clears throat> wow. It's one, one man's edition of the pyramid. Yes. Uh, no, that is now that is now from the book of Tommy. I hope everybody's listening to this, by the way. In the book of Bassin. <laughs> you nailed it, Tommy. I mean, awesome. Absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, um, I'll have, yeah, uh, two more, please. Two more. Uh, two yeah. more. Oh, thanks. Yeah. 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 Two more steaks? Salad, Jeez. Salad no, no, no. We're on the, yeah, if, yes, I, I agree. I agree. Thank you. Flowers, I think. Yeah. Look at that S car go. See oh, that? man. Look at that. <laughs> I've always wanted an S car. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> um, who, um, Let's see. Let me, uh, excuse me here. Excuse me for one second. Sure. I, I I have trouble looking at the menu in this in this low light. The, the light, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The candles yes. are nice, but you cannot see the menu. Use your phone. Okay. Yeah. I want you to yeah. clear your head. Clear your head. <laughs> okay. All right. Clear your head. Clear your mind. The first pro you think of comes to your mind. First pro, go. First pro. Yeah, go. 
Oh my gosh. Go. Uh, <laughs> first, pro, pro, first professional bass the fisherman. First pro. First, Bill Dance. Bill Dance is the first pro that comes to your mind. I love that you said that. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. No, we're okay. I just get excited over here. Sorry, they're looking at us, Tommy. Because and I don't know why I thought of Bill Dance. I mean, he was one of the original pros, just like, you know, uh, Roland and Jerry McInnes and everybody else. But uh, as far as a guy who, I, you know, I, I, I saw him more on TV when I was a kid than any other any other bass fisherman. That was just the way the local station was set up with syndicated fishing shows. So, the first pro, Bill Dance. First pro, Bill Dance. Yeah. There it is. Hey, um, we don't always hear a lot about Tommy Sanders fishing, but. I would like to ask you, Tommy, about mm. your own personal, most memorable fish catch. Let's say your most memorable fish catch. Yours. Your personal. Gosh. <laughs> Does it have to be a bass? Or, it could be whatever uh, you want, know. dude. No. Okay. Well, I, I, the chub. most memorable is also one of the most miserable ones. Okay. We were in, we were in um, Florida, Charlotte Bay, down in Florida. And we were doing a redfish uh, tournament down there. Yeah, we, I remember. We, yeah, the redfish cut. And uh, some of the ESPN people were coming down because they wanted to check it out. You know, the people from Bristol came down, and we went out on a boat. We took them out on the boat, and we were all going to go tarpon fishing. You know, I'd never been tarpon fishing. And I I was kind of interested in it, and they never had either. And, and and for some reason, the guy who's who's running the fishing trip, the guy said, "Tommy, you go first. And he puts like one of these green uh, herrings on there, and and uh, says, throw that out there in that sand flat you see up there. There's a big sand flat. So I throw it out there. He says, okay, just hang on a minute. And and this fish grabs it. And it's a big old tarpon. It's oh, like yeah. Three, 400 pound tarpon. Giant. Whoa. Giant tarpon. I had, no, no, I'd say two or 300 pounds. Okay, tarpon. mammoth. And yeah. it, took, it took an hour and 30 minutes to land this fish. And it, I've got, we've got clients there. We've got the ESPN people there gotcha. waiting for their turn. And it takes that long to get the damn fish in the boat. And I thought, this is the most horrible awkward situation I've ever been in my life. And that and I will never forget it. It's like the first 10 minutes of a fight like that are great. The rest of it is totally overrated. You just, <laughs> you just don't want any part of it, especially when there are people looking at their watches behind you. That's, and you, you were going, cut me, cut me. Yeah, just cut the line. Just cut Carl. Come on. <laughs> just put the knife on. <laughs> this is really is really that, that is that is the most for for better or worse that is the most okay memorable. interesting interesting mm, hey yeah. um you uh i i can't imagine you mad is that like I, I can't imagine you mad like like you're an actor can you get mad for a minute just so i could see for what, what are would... you talking about <laughs> I mean, who, who are you 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 asking me if i'm if i get mad who are you to ask me if I can get mad, Pat Renwick? <laughs> Jeez, I, 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 come on, I, I, you don't, I, come on now, I want to give you some content. And you accuse me of, oh, I've had it with you, pal. Yeah. You and me, no, no more. <laughs> Easy sizzle chest. Yeah, yeah, okay, oh. right there, sizzle chest. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, that was convincing. Oh, angry Tommy Sanders <laughs> scared me. You were like, uh, <laughs> you were like, what's his name? Coming out. He, you were like Travis Bickle. Is that his name in Taxi Driver? Yeah, Trevor. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, oh. you screwheads. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking awesome. Perverts. <laughs> you non people. <laughs> no. Hey, um, you, uh, oh my gosh, do you hear this uh, dramatic music going now? Wow. Yeah. Our piano player. Things are really. What is, what is our entrees getting? You know, this just. You know, it's time for the entree. I don't right? know. And Over Street's waiting too. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, so so we got to eat and get get out of this. We, but might, we may even have to have Over Street come <laughs> sit down with us. I don't know the restaurant. But the um, hey, so um, you born and raised in Arkansas, correct? Yes. Um, would you consider yourself a small town boy? Is that like? Yes. Oh, oh, definitely. Grew up in a town of eleven thousand people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a small town. I, right I, on the border, I, actually, between Louisiana and Arkansas. Okay, I got you. Now you spent some. Then you when you when you blossomed when you blossomed as a young Tommy Sanders, um, you went to New York. I and, did. I did. I went. To, I spent three years working in television on a local level. And I just I just wanted to see see it done at a at a different in a different way at a different place. And I I moved to New York. I enrolled in some classes and 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 I needed a job too because I had to pay the rent. And I within a <laughs> week I had a job at a at a, a post production place where they did 
you know, some commercials and, and, and all kind of crazy stuff. And it was it was pretty interesting. Do you feel that yeah. you're that that trip, uh, a small town boy to the big city expanded your mind? Did you learn? Yeah. Did you become less naive? Did you learn a few things? Oh, that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody gets their their you know what kicked when they go to New York for the first gotcha. time. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that that happened to me you know, on, on, on all kinds of different levels. And but it was good. I mean, it was it was it was wonderful. And I just. You know, I found myself increasingly after about nine months spending time in the park, going to the Bronx Zoo, going to places where it's not all concrete. And I thought, OK, this is this is the sign. You got yeah. to go get back to Arkansas. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and, and, and and there you still stand here. Here I still am. Mr. Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Arkansas. That's what they call here me. Here he comes, Mr. Arkansas. That's Table true. for Mr. Arkansas over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, is is um is Mark Zona your Scotty Pippen? My Scotty Pippen? No, no, I'm I'm his. Uh... <laughs> I'm the guy who feeds him. I I I just I just get the pass to him and he takes care of it. That's that's who Mark Zona is. So I'm, he's Jordan. Uh, oh my God! Are you kidding me? Of course. Wow. Yeah. He's got a happy yeah. boner at home right now. <laughs> Here, hearing that, um, I have the two greatest analysts to work with in the in the history of television right now: Davey Hyde, and Mark Zona. Absolutely. And, and Mark yeah. Zona, the the senior member, because we've been doing it for fifteen years now, and he's wow. just just a joy. And you know how good he is. I mean, you absolutely, just, he is. You you can throw him a good pass, you can throw him a bad pass, you can throw him an errant pass. He'll snag it and he'll make it into something terrific. It, it's amazing. I, um. I must confess, I, I try and trip both of you guys up when you come on the show, and it's like I failed every time. So that's how good you guys are. <laughs> we got it. We, we got our story straight. I guess. <laughs> um. So um. Let me let me uh. Who's your Dennis Rodman then? Who's your Dennis? Who, yeah. Who's Rodman? That's Davey. Who's, Hyde. That's Davey Hyde for sure. Yeah. Well, I, I guess so. taking the rebounds. <laughs> Because, yeah, never mind. Man, I'm not even Coach Phil. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> one of the assistant coaches. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Tommy, um, what's a song that you can't help singing when it comes on the radio? Like something that just like, it's there. You're going to, you're going to, it's whether you're singing it out it, loud or in your brain. What is it? It happened to me this morning. Nice. What is it? And I haven't been able to get it out of my mind since. And, and it, it's called. It's on the re-release of a Rolling Stones record from back when I was in college uh -oh. called Goat's Head Soup. Yeah, dude. It's just been re-released, and there's a song called Star Star. Star but Star. That's not, that's not what the lyrics are. Dude, I know what the, the lyrics are. You know the Stones are my favorite band of all time. Are they really? 100%. Well, you got to check out this re-release. They've remastered all the songs and added a couple of songs. Dude, uh, it's really uh, it's it, unbelievable. Way back in New York City, where you do belong. In, in, yeah, that's right. Yes. That's, you, man, you are good. Honey, I miss your two-tongue kisses. He says <laughs> Honey, it. I'm missing your two-tongue kisses. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, blah, 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 tight. Yes, yes we, yes, we yes. have to censor some of it, but star, star, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tommy, yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's like the greatest Chuck Berry knockoff of all time. Oh, Keith yeah. went totally off on it. Yeah, and complete and dude, Chuck Berry. I mean, and and let's th let's talk about Goat's Head Soup for a minute. I mean, okay. um, Dancing with Mr. D. Dancing with Mr. D. Come on, uh, Angie, gosh. Angie, the song Angie. Angie, oh, Angie. that's right, Angie's on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, and and um and 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 and, and that that particular album, Keith was kind of missing, uh, in his um in his induced states and yeah and, well yeah yeah that that's all the way through uh exile on main street and, as, yes and, and and jagger had to take over some yeah so, yeah so there's yeah. And, and i mean this with all due respect mick but some of the songs are lacking there and you could you could tell the ones where sure where keith was sleeping yeah, that's right. <laughs> but there are some gems on, on there. Stone. I think yes. you'll agree, Pat. Yes. I, I, I didn't know you were such a Stones fan. Dude, like if yeah, you saw yeah, the Tom, studio. Tommy, there, there's not that many posters in this house, but a lot of them are <laughs> Stones posters. Oh, no kidding. It's, you're yeah, going to have yeah. to... Re release a 360 photo of, of, of the, all the posters. <laughs> I, the, I will show you, dude. I, I got in the Bob, Batcave there. I got Bob Marley. <laughs> I got Mick Jagger. We got Steve Tyler. We got Brandon Palinick. Wait, what? Yeah. What? How, 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 wow. yeah. And uh, a, a certain gentleman Wait. named Mr. Ray Scott. Oh, yes. 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 Yes, sir. Man, you have you have you've 
you scan the world for that. So Tommy Sanders, the song you can't help singing is Star Star by the Rolling Stones. I love you so much more. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you, man. Yeah, an obscene song. It's, yes. It's all I can come up with. Um, Amazing. Um, So I know that you are a happily married man. Um, I am. And, um, but there was a point of your life where... Um, let's just say certain women inhabited our spank banks, okay? Um, and <laughs> oh, God. for example, let me give you, um, like that Farrah Fawcett poster was so important to me as a as a <laughs> as a young man. Do, yeah, yeah. Do you remember yeah. the Farrah Fawcett? Oh yes, poster? very well. I remember it. And yeah, I was I was like a much older man, of the, course, at that time than you, but. The yes, even even at my advanced age, it was it had an effect. The on table me and, and next to us left at Spank Bank, by the way. The, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, but, well, you know. Uh, um, but yeah, so of course you remember the the Farah uh, mm -hmm. poster. But so yeah. like you Very know, important. So, so who was so now? Uh, you're gonna laugh at me again. Feel free, feel free. May I be? Uh, but um, yeah. Marie Osmond and 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 Farrah Fawcett, like like when I was a kid, they. They, uh, you know, they, they did it for me a little. Like yeah. Osmond? Maria Osmond, yeah. I don't know if it was her Jeez. variety hour or nothing else on it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that variety Son hour. Gun, that variety hour did yeah, it for her me. Sincerity, her sincerity, yeah. her L yeah. LDS sort of uh, look on life and everything. <laughs> yes, right? yeah. Sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah. That PMA. I don't know. <laughs> so so <laughs> she was a little bit country. I was a little bit rock and roll. Maybe that's what I it was. Um, uh, I just say no more. So who who's your babe? Who's your babe from way back? Gosh, you know, that's, that sort of dated you, the Farrah Fawcett Thank poster. You. So I'm going to have to go back 10 years okay. previous to that and more. And probably the Raquel Welch poster. Yeah, bud. Then, or multiple yeah. posters were, were sort of the things that, uh, I don't know if you remember, if you're a Who fan also, but that song, Pictures of Lily, that oh, yeah. that, that was my picture of Yeah, Lily. dude. <laughs> that's speaking my language now. Freaking yeah. Tommy Sanders. <laughs> Tommy Sanders. <laughs> hey, um... Uh, so I want to, I want to talk about your character for a moment. Um, what, what, my what? Your character, sir. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> what is a, <laughs> what is a character defect of yours that you feel that maybe that you are constantly working on? Like, um, a, a lot of times I, I need to hear the whole story is what I, I, I need instead of making assumptions. That's you, an, you, oh, you 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 need you need it fleshed out. Yeah, that, that. maybe yeah, that, yeah that, like yeah. Well, so I, that could be a defect in a way. And, and what's a character defect of yours that you're you're trying to perfect? <sighs> it's it's always been a problem for of drifting, drifting. You know, I'm in a conversation with someone and 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 not in any way intending to shut them out, but but they'll be telling me something and I and and, and a word or a phrase will trigger some other thing. It's it's like not having <laughs> control, not I having know. control of the thing of of where my brain's supposed to be focused on yes it, it'll it'll go off in other ways and and you know it manifests itself in my it, my conscious behavior which is not always good when that happens it happens to talkers like yes. th like because we're my brain is so I, I don't know how else to say it but it's so fast all the time and i don't and like and i mean it's a curse and a blessing like there's always something going on from the moment until my head hits the pillow and then thank the good Lord. I'm from when you wake up in the morning. You, from yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. But I mean, when my head hits the pillow, I I'm thank God I'm able to sleep. But up until that point, I am a constant. My 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 mind is a propeller. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. So yeah, I yeah. get that, man. I I. I you totally... and me got the same problem. <laughs> it's you I, and me. I you think it's me. all day. You and me. <laughs> you and me. You and me. Same, you and me. Same problem. <laughs> Tommy. Become <laughs> best friends. I uh. I need I need you to uh, are, are, do we do we have room? Can we get another? Yeah, let's get another guy down at the table here. And Tommy, I want you to uh, I want you to tell me something philosophical. I want you to tell me something philosophical, as broad and vague as that may be. Okay. Tell me something philosophical. This bit of philosophy I picked up from watching Jeopardy two days ago. Amazing. There was a guy on there playing Jeopardy, and he says. And, and, and Alex, you know, they, they do the first few questions. They take a break. Alex comes out and talks to all three of them, right? Yeah. And so so Alex talks to this kid. He's, he's an Asian guy or, or a, of Asian, but he's an, he's an American-born person of Asian descent. And, and he, says, he says, I understand that you are like a 74th generation descendant of Confucius. 
And the, and the kid says, yes, that's exactly right. I, I, I really am. It, it, it's all been traced. He says, okay, so give me some Confucian philosophy that I can use. And this kid never misses a step. And, and he says, sometimes the answers to the greatest questions in life come to you in the form of a question. Wow. See? How about mm-hmm. that? Yeah. Holy that, that, cow. That's deep and, and sort of throw away at the same time <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it's, it's got it all a- absolutely yeah are we ready yeah. to get deep now Ginge? all right we're getting we're getting there we get hey you want to bring another guest and sit down at the table with us tommy yeah what did you see somebody standing over there well i i think there's there's i know somebody just ubered in I oh think, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know this guy well yeah I, okay yeah i mean he's I, okay I, with you he's okay with me you go way back with him <laughs> careful yeah. Uh-oh. Well, no. <laughs> no. He's the, uh, he, he's up to something. He, he's up to something or he'd already be here. Okay. He's, he's he's trying again. Hey, while we're waiting on this, Tommy. Oh. Yeah. Is it true that you trained Jim Nance in the art of outdoor commentary? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm no Jim Nance, but I'll, every April, which we missed this year because of the year that it's been, you know, every April we usually have a tournament on Masters weekend. So we we start at least one segment of Bassmaster Live, all those six hours, at least one segment. We'll start by saying, uh, the wind through the pines at Augusta. Welcome, <laughs> friends. Welcome to another tradition like no others. We welcome you to the Masters, the 86th gathering of the best in the world. And that's that's my gym name. Jim Nance is so great. He's 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 the best. He's the man. I that's it. That's amazing. Awesome. Now, is it true that you also taught Jim Neighbors how to? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. Nobody got that. Maybe like a few people got that. I don't know. If did you like him on Gomer Pyle USMC, or did you like him better on Andy Griffith? Andy Griffith. Griffith for sure. Uh, me too. Oh me my too. gosh, it's a it's a when you hear that music. You know who's walking up into the restaurant here, though. Everybody's Uh-oh. got their heads turned. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you the eyes of Bassmaster. Oh, Bass man. and Outlaw. I icon. recognize that guy. That That's a true artiste right there now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is James Overstreet. Yes. Yes. James Overstreet. What's, What's up? He's got the blind set up, his his photography blind. He's got the man, oh man, everything is in some strangely it's daylight where you are you where you are, J O. How did you manage that? I mean you can do great things, but I didn't know you could pull that off. Seems like you're being attacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got a pet eagle on his shoulder. Now that's a badass. You're the nobody comes yeah. on straight cast with a pet eagle on their shoulder, but James Overstreet. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. How you doing, James? I'm doing good, man. <laughs> uh, All right. Are, are we, James, can you hear me on time? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay, good. Now we're good. That's quick. So, Tommy, last time James came on the show, I think it was, I think it, um, it was Zona. You tell the story. What happened last time you came on the show, James? No, you kind of you got a you got a bad delay. Oh, I got a delay. Sound pre- Oh, it's James's internet. You got me now. Uh oh! Every time Overstreet comes on, something happens. I told him not to get. You can't feed them after midnight, Sanders. <laughs> 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 uh, can you hear me, Jo? Yeah, I can hear you fine. You got a little. You like? I can hear two of you. Wait, do, do you think he's got something on, Ginge? Does he need to turn the left thing down and the right thing over to the left thing? Oh, it's your internet, is what he's saying. I got you, bro. Oh, okay. So what's what's up, dude? What are you doing? Where are you at, Jo? Oh, you want me to answer? I'm I'm just over at uh, uh, Sam Rayburn. <laughs> <laughs> I got down here a couple hours ago. We got an open down here on Sam Rayburn. It starts in the morning. So Steve Bowman and I are shacked up over here on the lake, close to the way inside. Um, give me 17 words that describe Tommy Sanders. 
This will give us time, Tommy. See, because it's on a delay. <laughs> so once. But he's not getting any time. He'll have to. Yeah. He'll have to hear it and go. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it's your. I think it's the internet. I, is there another? Is there a solution to this, Andy? Or I don't know what we can do with James. He's on the on the uh, the wifey or whatever. Hey, kick me out for a minute. I'll talk to Andy. We'll get this straightened up. You can talk to him. There you go. All right. James is doing things. I see he's, he's on his phone. He's figuring stuff out. He's figuring it out right there. Hey, um, hey, Tommy, I want to I want to yeah. go back and and ask you um about about when you were a kid. All right. Were you a T like yeah. when you were a kid? Did you watch did you watch TV shows a lot? Like I watched a lot of TV shows when I was a kid. Were you a TV show kid? Yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, sure. Yeah, we did. I mean, we didn't. I mean, people didn't have televisions till I got to be about five or six years old. Oh wow! In my little town. Yeah, okay. yeah. And but uh, yeah, we. I watched like old stuff that you would never. I, I used to watch uh, uh, Gary Moore, who was a like a game show and talk show host, and Arthur Godfrey, the same sort of thing. And you know, they just they just rerun some old movie cartoons like they've been showing in movie houses for for thirty years previously for kids in the afternoon. But uh, yeah, yeah, I watched all those old game shows and stuff like that. What was like the first was, was fish, the first fishing show that you remember seeing? The first fishing show we ever had there was a, a show called the Arklatex Sportsman, Charles Middleton. Wow. Uh, the Arklatex is Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and was you know, stationed in Shreveport. Had a weatherman named Charles Middleton, and he would go to he'd go to Rayburn, he'd go to Lake Merval and 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 places like that, Caddo Lake, and do the the old you know, local fishing show. He'd go out there with his Bolex camera and shoot some silent footage and he'd come back and roll the footage and talk over it, you know, like, uh, like, uh, like the, uh, second city routine with John Candy, you know, yeah, yeah. talking about talking with the fish. It was, but it was really <laughs> a lot like that. He was, a, he was a real funny, corny old dude who, who truly enjoyed fishing and truly was able to you know, communicate the joy of it, you know, and it, it, it was great. It, it turned me on to fishing shows from, you know, from an early age. What, when was the first time you remember really um, seeing Jerry McInnes? I'd never saw Jerry's show for some reason was never syndicated into, because it was a syndicated show when, when I was a kid growing up in the small town, Magnolia, Arkansas. Uh, but, but uh, you know, I did see it when I went to college in central Arkansas <laughs> And then, uh, so that would have been 70, 73, 74. I saw it on as it's in this syndicated version. And it's also a local station version. And uh, then later on, after I've been working in television for about eight years, all of a sudden his show popped up on ESPN. And I thought, what the heck? I mean, Jerry's great, <laughs> but what, how did he do that? How did he pull that off? And they were shooting it on a really higher quality film format. And, and it just looked like a movie. And I thought, my hero. That is wow. the greatest guy on earth to take that 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 great you know syndicated, albeit really good syndicated gig, and turn it into a an ESPN show. And uh, I, I remember it very well. I, it, was, it was sometime in the mid '80s when I when I first saw that. I was just knocked out. Yeah, man. And uh, and that that fishing hole show, man. I mean, yeah. Again, just that you know, talk go back to that whole ESPN block. You know that mm -hmm. those Saturday mornings and and why why can we why can we not have that anymore? Is it because of, know. is it because the internet now? Like it's, well, it's that. And, and play, you know, there was, there was 30 stations on your cable back then too. Now there's 300. Right. Yeah. Now, now there were no, when, when ESPN outdoors started, there were no full-time outdoors channels. Now there's what, six or seven of them. Yeah. You know, if, if, if you do a deep enough search and on, on cable alone, not to mention, uh, you know, uh, online digital, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, and, and you, uh, ESPN made a decision that they would just, they were going to move on and not do what they call, uh, I, I forget their term for it. Uh, um, an, uh, shows that are they're about something that happened before. The only way you could bring the outdoors to, to, to ESPN was as a live format. Gotcha. Okay. Or, or it, with the exception of the Bassmasters, we were able to do for all those years, a, a condensed show of each of our tournaments and put there. We were the exception. They were very kind to us and let us keep doing that. It was just an, a decision made on their, you know, their knowledge and their, their, uh, their, where they thought the uh, audience wanted to go and where they wanted to go. We were sad. Thank God they let that continue though. <laughs> the Bassmasters. Yeah. 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 Hey, James. And now, and, now, and now we get it back on ESPN with Bassmaster Live. That's yeah, right. buddy. That's right. Time. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm talking that's about. Absolutely. Really fun. 
How's Overstreet? Can you uh, can you hear me now, James? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Can you hear me? Now, yeah. Now it's in What's real it? time. Holy. Yeah, I had to switch internet devices here. East Texas is kind of like internet service hasn't really got here just really well in a lot of places. <laughs> Man, J- James, you guys you guys have been uh, running buddies uh, for uh, quite a bit now, haven't you? Oh, Banders and I. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. And Zona and Tommy and I have spent many a day in a boat together at Elite Deals, man. We hang out <laughs> at the tournaments uh, for years, I guess. Yeah. Oh, every day. Well, for, for a good 10, 12 years. And I miss those days, man. That was that was the real deal out there just kind of cruising around and eating peanuts and watching guys fish. <laughs> we, when we were eating peanuts, J.O. was working. Uh, he was creating the magic, man. He was, he's an artist, you know. He, he sure, he sure is an artist. The, like, yeah. You are the eyes of, of bass fishing, James, in, in, in our opinion, and in many opinion. Like we told Tommy when he came on, he, he's the voice, man. He is the, he's the voice. And you were, you were the one that, that brought us, what was happening when we when we didn't have the when we weren't able to go on the you know in the magazines in and of course on the internet but like so many historic photos from you dude so many souls captured yeah that's part of the deal man i mean that's <laughs> that's what you're out there to do yeah. um despite the distractions every now and then with the you know it's kind of a handful having zone on the boat with you all day you know how that's kind of but it's an awful good time, man. I do miss those days. I'm like Tommy. I mean, it it was the best of days for me, um, in my in my bass career for sure. The, me too. Who, uh, How could it not be? I mean, working with those two guys, and um, you know, I was I was kind of new to it. I learned a lot from both of them way back when when I first started. I had a lot to learn, and uh, you know, without Tommy and and Zona and those guys. Uh, I don't know if, hell i don't know if i'd even be here now dude shoot now i'm gonna cry yeah <laughs> now, who, who was the who was the best boat driver out of the three of you guys oh that would be me <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. I, I can see I, I, I that. no i mean i always drove that's all i know but i had the boat so <laughs> zona's obviously a hell of a boat driver man i've been on some big water with zona and uh you know I've been in a boat with a lot of people. Some guys you don't feel all that good about being in a boat with when they're behind the hem when it gets nasty on area mm-hmm. or whatever. But Zona's one of those guys you want to. There's only a couple of people I want to drive me around, and I'm one of them, and Zona would be the other. All right. All right. I'll take that. I'll take that. Hey, I've you... been in a boat with Zona and NJO on different occasions, and, and, which they've had to get one of our boat drivers that showed up. We'd never met him before and just tell him to shut the thing down and have a little come to Jesus meeting with him about the way he's driving. Wow. <laughs> very, both of them, J.O. and Zona do it in a very direct and, 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 uh, um, effective way. Wow. <laughs> well, that's why you, yeah. Years ago, I, you know, I quit using boat drivers, uh, a long time ago. Nothing. And I got a few that I, that I would still use, but, uh, you know, man, uh, I'm a little bit more comfortable with uh, taking care of that. <laughs> <laughs> on your own. <laughs> I mean, you know, man, you don't like to have to go off on some dude over something like that. Nah. But it does happen. And nobody get, you know, yeah, nobody wants to get bucked out of the boat. Yeah. yeah. Especially when they don't want to lose evil. the keys to their own boat. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you sent me a picture, James, of from I believe like 2006. And yeah. it was it was you and Tommy together. What? And I think you were at some some yeah golden retriever event. That was also the first year of the elites. Yes. Um, yeah. and uh, and I just want to say that you guys looked like you were up to something, um, in that picture. It probably uh, were. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, and what is the most trouble that you two ever got in together? Most oh trouble. man, I I know exactly what it was, but uh oh. It's kind of, oh, Tommy, you know where it was. It was probably on, uh, where, the, where were we at? Pickwick, maybe. We got in a little trouble. Oh, yeah, year. we got in trouble with one of our colleagues. <laughs> yeah. With another one of our colleagues. Who another was... Hall of Famer, I might add. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. About to be. About to be. About to be. My roommate, actually, yeah, he don't put up with a whole lot. 
<laughs> yeah, we we kind of we kind of got some collateral damage. We were standing at the wrong place at the wrong time, and we got a we got a chewing out that was kind of meant for the whole world. <laughs> You're being very gray about this story. There's it's very vague. Well, I mean, you know, man, it's hard. To, Sanders is you don't get in trouble with Tommy. He, I think he probably talk. He could talk all our way out about anything. You know, he's such a <laughs> nice dude, and he, you know he didn't get all riled up like Zone and I. You know, you just let Tommy handle the trouble part, you know, so it doesn't escalate. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. Hey, um. That's right. Hey, Tommy, if you could like, if you could pin James for uh, like a fictional char- uh, a fictional character, like like who would he be? Who J O would be the dude? You know the movie The Big Lebowski. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The cowboy Sam Elliott is that his name? <laughs> yeah, he is that dude. He is he is that guy. You know? <laughs> well, it made Sometimes me laugh. There's a man. <laughs> <laughs> he's the cow. Be. He's the cowboy guy. I got you. I got you. Yeah, Sam yeah. Elliott. Everybody yeah. gotta be somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so J O, if if Tommy Sanders were a, a fictional character who would he be man to me tommy is like i've always kind of thought of him like al michaels on monday night football okay tommy could do monday night football tommy oh. could totally do al michaels job i, I appreciate you. that al michaels is the best we talk about jim nance but al michaels is just that much better no yeah. michaels is tom i mean tommy's every there's no doubt in my mind yeah. that tommy could do al michaels again. <laughs> and al michaels no doubt about it I, I don't know about that, but I appreciate that. Like, I imagine that the two of you together on the road is kind of like Huck Finn meets Hunter S. Thompson. If, <laughs> if... Yeah, when we you be, brought me a lot less, a lot less drug taken. Though. Okay, well, yeah, but the, the craziness, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's been plenty of craziness through the years. It's the nature of the beast, you know. You, you're you're dealing with the hundred guys who who come from all different directions and. Uh, Man, trying to trying to do right by them and do right by your boss and do right by the people that watch the show, do right by the people that read the magazine, look at the website. It's uh yeah, it's tailor made for big fun, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so hey James, I know last time you were on, we we talked about this a little bit, but um you not a lot of people know that you are a big autograph seeker. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, I'm all over autographs. Yeah, like you have an like go. Tommy, Tommy. You, you, yeah, he has a giant wall at it. Like he, every famous person that James Overstreet sees, he goes up and gets their autograph, and he's got a whole yeah. wall. Mm-hmm. At, all two of them. Yeah, not all. all <laughs> t- <laughs> so, so I want you to tell the story of um of both of those autographs. I don't have really that much of a story with the one autograph. I have two autographs. I have Gail Sayers and Clint Eastwood. Okay. Whoa, those are good ones. Yeah. Those um, are really good I ones. I met Gail Sayers at some conference. Yeah, it was kind of a public kind of deal. But I totally randomly met Clint Eastwood in a crazy place. I met Clint Eastwood 635 miles above the Arctic Circle. What? <laughs> in yeah. Greenland. In Greenland. In Greenland, yeah. Ah, Yes. Sure did, man. Hey, tell us I about was, it. Um, I was an MP. I was in the service. I was an MP in the service, and I had me a little, you know, there's not a lot to do in Greenland, so I had me a little side job. They called the master at arms at the NCO club, which is, I guess you'd call it a bouncer in civilian life yeah, buddy. or whatever. Yeah, badass. Door checker, coat hanger, you know, whatever. PBA, professional Help you badass. you get to the door, drunk guy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, so, you hearing this, Sanders? You hearing this? Yes. <laughs> you know, I, you know, of course we hear that this film crew's coming in and, uh, and, but we don't, you know, I, we really didn't know a whole lot about it. Well, I just happened to be working at the front of the NCO club desk that night and, uh, dinner. I think it was during, it was during the 24, you know, it's 24 hours daylight, 24 hours of dark. We were in our 24 hour daylight period. So, uh, I'm up front, and hell, Clint Eastwood walks through the door of the NCO club, man. There, you know, hell, it's Clint Eastwood. I mean, it's you know, and I'm like, are you serious? You know, so, uh, <laughs> so, man, we end up uh, after a while. Uh, they stayed there several, I don't know, maybe a week, ten days. 
they were shooting a movie, which was a horrible movie called Firefox. It was probably the worst movie Clint Eastwood ever made. <laughs> but they shot all the Arctic scenes up there. And so, you know, we spent a lot of time, me included, uh, shuttling these guys around, going by and picking them up in the morning, getting them to the, whatever they had to do and that sort of thing. And, uh, man, we end up drinking beers at night with the film crew and, and Clint Eastwood and um, of all places. Above the Arctic Circle. Damn. Meet a guy like that. Pretty cool. That's cool. That is so cool. I didn't know that story, J.O. Yeah. Yeah. That is fantastic. And, and got the got the autograph too. Got his autograph on a napkin that his bear was sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. That's the uh oh God. that's the that's his brush with greatness right there. The the Clint Eastwood. Amazing. I've had some other, but I'm just not an autograph guy, man. I, I was younger then. I don't know if I'd do it today. I'd probably take a picture. I probably wouldn't do his autograph. Maybe. <laughs> and probably you know not. I kid about that because I know you I don't. know. Yeah, I know you don't yeah. get autographs. You're not. You got that. Gail Sayers too. Gail Sayers autograph. Gail Sayers, yeah. Because you know when I when, you know, he was I remember watching him play and I you know, I was always a big fan of his and uh so I went ahead and got his and uh but that's the only two I've ever asked for. Now I've had people sign caps that I would give to somebody mm. that wanted an autograph of one of our guys or something like that. But yeah. And, uh, but other well, I'm, that, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on bust in here with my brush with greatness, which also involves the Chicago bears running back. Yes. And yeah. it's, it's one of the, it's, I didn't get his autograph, but it's a pretty funny story back in the nineties, about 96 or so ESPN sent me and Jerry out to San Diego when they were doing the super bowl out there, okay. not to go to the super bowl, but to take some of the BSPN clients out on a little one of those party boat fishing trips. Okay. 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 So, okay. so we did that. We we did that for a couple of days, had good fun, you know, talked to the crew and you know, and visited with some of the players. And then we were we were set to leave the 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 day of the Super Bowl. And you get on uh, on the plane or in the in the waiting room to get on the plane, and all these legends are there, Burt Jones and and, and, and Dick, everybody. They're sitting there because they're leaving too. They don't want to. They don't want to stick around for the game. They 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 they've been in the game. They don't want to stick yeah. around and watch it. <laughs> and I sit down next to this family that I didn't recognize them. Uh, uh, and they had, uh, you, you know, they were just a nice looking family. You know, uh, 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 two males and a, uh, maybe their mother and some of their kids were sitting there. And I look and and they've got some one car. One of them's the fellow next to me. He's got a cardboard box and I look at it. And it says Walter Payton. Walter yeah, Payton. That's awesome. Wow. And, 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 and okay. And and I I, I talked. I said, man, Walter Payton, you, you're leaving out too. I said, all oh, you guys are going to say, yeah, man, we we got to get back home. We've seen this stuff before. And, and but this is the killer. <laughs> I didn't get the autograph, but the other guy hands Walter Payton something. He looks at it. He starts laughing, and he hands it to me. And it's a picture of a two dollar bill. This is 1996. A two dollar bill with okay. Bill Clinton's face on it. <laughs> really <laughs> that was that was my brush with walter payton and we all got a good laugh out wow of that's great i took a piss beside uh <laughs> earl campbell in the holiday inn and, and little rock one time no kidding <laughs> yeah. that's that's that qualified. i mean it was the tyler rose man i'm standing tyler there, rose, you know, man. and earl campbell saddles up beside me man i'm like Damn, yeah, Ali. That is awesome. That is Absolutely. Awesome. The first time I met KVD he was taking a piss next to him. There you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no, I, I mean, you know, you meet a lot of people over the year. I mean, I know Tommy surely has. He's been what I don't like before. is when at sports shows, if you are, um, if you're, if you're in the bathroom there, and you're, you're I don't yeah. like when people shake my hand. Like, don't. What? No. Don't try, that yeah. people do that sometimes. Don't shake hands. Uh, in I definitely bath- didn't do. Don't that. shake hands in bathrooms. <laughs> hey, we go. <laughs> right. That's that's all I'm saying. The major no, D has some guests for you guys. That, do we? Uh, do we have a wait? You, did you ask him? Can we? Do we have more room at the table? Yeah, they need some autographs. <laughs> can we bring? There's oh, someone here that wants uh, Over Street's autograph. Apparently, Who? somebody wants Over Street. Yeah, can, can we bring everybody in? Yeah, Let's they're just, all coming. They, every, just, they want to meet they, everybody. They, everybody, they're all coming through now. It's going to be a, it's going to, hey, Tommy, it's going to be a out. big party. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, it's, it's Ronnie Moore. It's, it's our Bassin Angel, Ronnie Moore. At this restaurant, at this restaurant, what's the odds of running into Ron Moore? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Tommy thought he could get rid of me. 
uh, just by leaving <laughs> work, but that's just not the case. No, 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 no. It's a, it works the other way around. That's why I have to have a bodyguard because of Ronnie Moore. <laughs> Ronnie's just here for the mints, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Hey, um, Ronnie, did you know that James Overstreet was such a big Clint Eastwood fan? I did not know that, but I mean, people like that run together, so it makes complete sense. I may not have known that about J.O., but those intimidating, just with those charismatic, stern voices, though. I mean, J.O.'s got one of those, when Clint Eastwood says something or J.O. says something, I mean, you listen to it. So I can see why they run together. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very stern voice. Hey, with that in mind, and and, and he doesn't have to be your answer, but, like, say that uh, you were in a little trouble, Ronnie. And um and you knew that after school you were gonna get your ass kicked. Um, who would be the guy that you would bring outside on the playground with you to to to, to make sure things stayed level? Who would be the guy on the bass staff that, that you'd bring out with you at two o'clock? On the bass staff? Yeah, yeah. I've got one for the elites and and the, for the staff. I mean, the staff one's really easy though, to be honest. Like. I, you got to go with Steve Bowman for one because he has a badge that says he can carry a weapon. Okay. So I mean, that Ronnie's badge, terrified. That's I mean, that's the other. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> Overstreet ain't scared. Room, hey, you hey, can't change not. your answer. Overstreet ain't scared of nobody. <laughs> hey, uh, you know who else ain't scared of nobody? My uncle Such. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mike Suchan to the show. Hey right guys, now. how you all doing? Yes. I've been watching pretty interesting stuff. Tommy has never been mad ever. I've never seen him angry. He got mad. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> he got mad as I hell at me. Ya. Yeah. You don't want me to have to bring my wife in here to settle that argument. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've seen her. Well, you're in her. Yeah. Not in the car. But... She's seen me mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, really all we're missing is um is Zona and Davey Height. Yeah. And, for the, for and, the studio crew, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and, and um, and they are both at their interpretive dance class tonight. That's so true. That's they true. Will, they will not be joining us, unfortunately. Mm. Unfortunately, another day maybe. Yeah, but that, but yeah. Uh, I want to tell you guys, um, kind of while I have uh, the 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 three of you uh, anchor guys, uh, as as well as uh, the eyes of Bass, that how amazing it is. And what a great job and how important it is for bass fishing that you cats are on ESPN live with the Bass Masters. Thank you. Like, <laughs> that's nice. Exciting that's deal for us. Ronnie Moore, huge. Mike Suchan, huge. Very huge. Tommy Sanders, huge. James Overstreet, camera guy, huge. It is huge. Very huge, man. Here, I'll, I'll kick in on this. I'll just say one thing about this to affirm, to me at least, okay. how big a deal that is. And the guy in the other room, Steve Bowman, I can remember the day. We're both from Arkansas. I mean, we all live there. Oh, you're with Bowman. Well, but he's, I don't know where he's at. Well, no, that's okay. But I wasn't, I just, I didn't want ago, Ronnie to be scared. Odd, yeah, we're, yeah, we're rooming together. Over okay. Here. Don't be scared, 30 some odd years ago, our local paper... You couldn't even get the standings of a Bassmaster tournament. For before Bowman got that editor's job there, I mean, you couldn't. You might wait a week if you got it at all. You couldn't even get the final results in the scoreboard section of the newspaper. And and now we're doing this live. I mean, as it happens, the dream of I know Jerry, Mister Jerry, I, you know, wow. wanted to see this happen and. Uh, I'm glad we were all that we that we were all here to see it happen, and I, I just don't think sometimes people really grasp how big a deal this. It really, I mean, for the entire sport, it's just not us. It's just, you know, we had to wait on all this technology to catch up with, and we found, and we can finally do it. We still are hampered by phone service because it's all kind of related to that in a way. But for the most part, what we're doing is, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how it happens. Exactly. I just think, I, I'm like everybody else. I'm as, as amazed by it as as, our, as anybody out there. Me too. You know why it happened? Because it was supposed to happen, guys. All right? This Has yeah. it ever, has, it's always been our goal as bass fishing fans to have our beloved sport accepted by the masses. Like, I never got laid in high school because I bass fished, okay? I had to play in a band. All right. <laughs> so 
he is, I mean, like. Was it a polka band? Yeah. Cabbage, a yeah. Band. Yeah. It was it was polka. cabbage rolls and coffee. Everybody. Cabbage rolls and coffee. The, uh, <laughs> you, God. Yeah, yeah. You guys know. Hey. But the, but, but here's the work? fact. Did it, did it work? There is. The, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sure <laughs> did. It sure did, Mr. Overstreet. Yes. <laughs> hey, but anyway, here's the fact of the matter, man. Bass fishing has been accepted into the masses. It has been recognized as a sport. The first, I, correct me if I'm wrong, man. I'm throwing Rain Man stuff out here, but um, Ronnie Moore probably knows the stats, but I think the first three episodes, 10 million viewers? Like, how strong <laughs> is that, Tommy Sanders? That's unbelievable. It, it's, it's like J.O. said. It's what we always dreamed of. It was Jerry, you know... I thought about that from the first day he covered his first fishing tournament. I says, man, if we could get it live to these people, and there was no way to do it until, until the 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 technology caught up to it and makes it possible. And it's just just to to put people in the boat, you know, with these guys out there for for the entire fishing day. Basically, it's just uh, I, it it's a, it's a total game change. Our, our lives change. It's an exciting time to be alive if you do what we do. Mike Suchan. You are on ESPN. When you were a little Mikey, did we well, no away? Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. People are like, Suchin, that dude? Hell no, he ain't on ESPN. They're like, <laughs> Yeah, go look. He's there. Ronnie Moore? Well, they knew Ronnie was gonna be on ESPN. Sorry. But... <laughs> they probably suspected so, he wouldn't be. Yeah. I, I'll say this, Pat. I, I told this to, to Tommy and I've told this to people in the studio. I told this to my wife, though. I was watching Netflix with her one day, and I paused it, and I was like, I was just quiet, which was out of the norm. Everybody knows that. So Sarah was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, <laughs> I just I just thought about this. The fact that I have the opportunity to be a part of the live show and to, to broadcast Bassmaster Live or to even be a part of the TV show, that's always been a dream to be on ESPN2 or ESPNU with Tommy. And I said to her at that point, Less people or, or more people have been on the moon than have hosted Bassmaster TV. And that's, you know, Bob Cobb, Ray Scott, Jerry McKinnis, Tommy Sanders, Mark Zona, Davey Height, myself, Such, if you include all of us in there. That's like more people have been on the moon and been in space than have hosted Bassmaster. So the fact that <laughs> I get the opportunity to be a part of this whole deal at, at my age and just the, the publicity it's gotten. I mean, it is incredible. And so the fact that they mic me up every single week, like, and they haven't found somebody better is just, I'm thankful. <laughs> oh, that, that, dude, you're knocking it out, man. Crushing and, it, man. And Sue, yeah, you absolutely. too. There ain't nobody I've better. been to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm going to the moon. Such is, such is on the moon every single time we do Facebook Live. I will say. I'm wired when I hear that. Sure. <laughs> I know yeah, the yeah, feeling. Well. Oh, it's great. Reminds me of the story that Jerry said when he went to ESPN with his fishing hole show that he said there's more people who fish than or whatever sport that was on there. Rugby or something was the first thing. Yeah. And, and it was even like Ray, Ray Scott, that more people fished than, than watch NBA. And, and it was their dream, and all these people followed it. And look where it's come today. I mean, it, Bowman was was one of the guys who actually kind of started tinkering with the live stuff. We did the the yeah. uh, duels on the, on the lakes and some live deer hunts, and mm -hmm. he went on a bear hunt and it just kind of steamrolled with the technology and, and where we are is just incredible and, and it's amazing. And, and I feel very fortunate to be a part of this. Yeah, dude. And, 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 and Bowman is very much a common denominator. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's that's right. That's right. M m more, more so than many people realize in BASS history. Um, uh, quite a, a significant character, let's say. Well, I got a story about him at the newspaper. He came in one day when the Tuesday night Bassin results <laughs> didn't get into the newspaper, and somebody woke him up at 6 a.m. He had a shotgun with my name and the deputy sports editor's name on shotgun shell with our names written on it. Wow. He's saying, this is important. Well, in the newspaper, the sports section, most of the ads that they put in the sports section were outdoors related. So that really kind of told you the importance of it in Arkansas and other states. And, and he really fought for that importance to get where it is today. Dude. I'll say this, Pat, before uh, before we leave Bowman as the topic. I think that a lot of like like I talked about with J.O. and Clint Eastwood, those kinds of guys run together like you got to <laughs> you got to be that type of personality to run together. The people who uh, Jerry McKinnis brought in, they had to be wired like him. They had to be those go getters, the ones that have, you know, the faith of a mustard seed, 
but they would willing they they'd go and take it across the country and to do it and make it work. I know Bowman's one of those people, at least out on the water. Um, and I've got to be a part of his crew covering the elites, seeing Mike, Jerry's son, carry that same attitude. Like you better ship up or shape out, or you better be motivated because we've got a job to do. And so for guys like Tommy to be brought in by Jerry, guys like J.O. to be brought in, like it's, it's a common thread and people don't know that they see some of the people on Bass Live and they think that that's the best people we got in the, in, in our crew to push out there. But if you look at our guys on the, on the Chiron and all the graphics machines and the replay machines and the guys taking photos, the people producing this stuff, they're all wired the same. Yeah. And so I think that our crew for what they accomplish with, with the size crew that we have every single one of them top notch, you know, to that be, they to be, all to be on Jerry's crew. Yeah. hundred percent. And they, and, and Ronnie, they all have to have EDED as we yes, learned exactly. last time you were on the show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Correct. Correct. What do I? What are these voices I hear in the background? What, what's who's whose house is that? Is that you, Such? Yeah, I got a youngin over here bugging the living daylight. <laughs> Gosh, yes, hey, Such. <laughs> I thought that was the cleaning lady. I didn't yeah. know what was going on. They want, they want to see. They want to be seen now. He's bugging me for saying to do a joke or something. Well, bring him on. I thought that was your mom bringing the meatloaf. He's, oh, he's at it again. He's at it again. Yeah, exactly. He's too heavy. I can grab him. There he is. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, don't, tell <laughs> don't tell me I don't love you. Uh, <laughs> why I gotta? <laughs> hey, um, before before we start having fun, okay, um, let's. Uh, um, I want to ask Overstreet something here. Rob. So, have, James, have you ever taken a picture and captured, um? something that you weren't supposed to, whether it was something incriminating or something provocative or or even a paranormal experience of some sort. You mean on purpose? No, on X. <laughs> well, yeah, sure, both, yeah. Yeah, both, yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Probably so. Yeah, well, t- well tell us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. Yeah. What's that? What's that? <laughs> so give me I can tell you about one, a supernatural picture that J.O. took. Tell me, please. Oh my Tom. God. Now oh, we got the exorcist. We lost. What was that? Yeah. Okay. Now, J.O. took this, my favorite J.O. picture of all time, and I don't know how it happened, but it's, it's, it's like it, it's otherworldly. It's a shot of the space shuttle yeah. blasting off at night, and there's this big old long necked egret standing in the water right <laughs> in front of J.O., yeah. and, the, and the plane is going right over his head, and it's just the most incredible photograph. I, it's, I think it's my favorite outdoor photograph of all time. Wow, that is yeah, very it's, cool. Uh, and, and, the, and the crazy thing, I never knew that bird was there. I mean, you know, this space yeah. shuttle, it was the last launch, the last night launch of the space shuttle. And, um, of course, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, 1, 2 o'clock. They had a slight delay because of cloud cover or something like that, but didn't even know the bird was there. I didn't know the bird was there till I went back and uh, took a look at the photos on the card. But um, yeah, I took it with two cameras, which is really cool. He's in both. He's in the. I shot it with a big with a big zoom, and then I shot it with a wide angle. And, and the bird actually made both photos. Which, yeah. And, and yeah. honestly, it would have been a typical. I mean, there's probably a lot of launch photos that the dead gum bird makes. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. It's it's the most you it's, you can't. You have to see it. You, I can't describe it. So good. dead gum birds. Yeah. And, and they're always and the bird. He's just sitting there like it ain't no big deal, yeah. man. Yeah, it just happens all the time down here. Yeah. yeah. But then when you try Never and get him to sign the release forms, they're the hardest to find. Yeah, you can't yeah. catch them. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Hey, uh, Such, if you had to um, compare James Overstreet to an artist in history, no matter whether it's from a a, a uh, uh, an artist on the tablet or, or a musical artist or another photographer or a compo what, what, what would it be? Who could you compare James Overstreet to? He's a Stradivarius with that camera. I did a story on him and he told me he had like half a million images in his, in his files. When he goes on these trips, he makes side trips to go to Yellowstone, Yosemite, you know, little Barstow, California and come back, man, that place was a dump. <laughs> and it's just you see all these photos we used to do, <laughs> and, and it's just incredible his work. I don't, I don't know how you have an eye like that and and, and his, be able to. His camera is like a Stradivarius. Skills. 
It's easy, Dad. It's really easy. See? There it is. <laughs> hey, Dad, it's easy. <laughs> Dad. Uh, Nothing to it. Is <laughs> that kid I gave all that camera stuff to? Yeah. yeah he's, he's, hey, he's good, man. He's taking some neat shots with that too, Point Jay. He's, he's gotten some crazy angles and, and knows how to do things. He's playing with gimbals and tripods and He's telling me it's easy. It's now. that well, easy. He studies yeah. up on all the YouTube videos on cameras and equipment. And <laughs> he blows me away with the information that he's uh, got in his head. Oh, well, pretty much, it's not, a, it's, it's, pretty much it's, it's not as hard as I make it look. Is that what you're trying to say, Sue? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he hasn't actually sat down and done the Photoshop editing yet, so we'll see. Yes. Yeah, yes. He yeah. Says, okay. yes. Oh. What's your What's your boy's <laughs> name there, Such? Zane. Zane. Zane Suchan. Like, that is like... Zane the pain, because I'm pain in the... Wow. <laughs> I love this kid. Yeah. Wow. Can we zoom him in? Come here, listen yeah. to him. He's yeah. talking about you. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah, Zane, you're... you're, uh, you're uh, what do I want? Come here, we've been talking yeah. about you for like 10 minutes. Yeah, you, you're okay, <laughs> kid. Hey. He's Come been here, hovering around me the whole night. You're, so you're okay, okay, kid. Are you on the show? He says, he says I got more here. subs than this dude. You know his <laughs> Back. Look at this guy. Hey, look at look at oh, oh, no. Steve Bowman. Man, he's up in the stand <laughs> too. Oh you? my oh, gosh! No, no, and no, Bowman's no. got an eagle Pretty on his shoulder. Oh my god! Oh my god! Your Hall of Famer Bieber looks the best of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we, he, his ears must have been ringing. I told him we were in the Hall of Fame this month. Don't forget it. <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> so I think that most of you guys, uh, the, the, the four of you, and now Zane will know, that uh, we like to play game shows here on Stray Cats, right? So We've seen them. Yeah, I, I, what I figure we'll do is um, let's do a little Jeopardy. What do you think, Mr. Sanders? Oh, love Jeopardy. My yeah. favorite show. And yeah. Um, yeah, as you as you stated earlier, you learned that philosophical quote that some of the best answers are in the form of a question, right? Correct. Yeah, I mean, boom, right it is. So how apropos, as they would Get say deep in, in here. As they would say in Scotland. Right. Yeah. There. So um, we have uh, uh, give me some good old fashioned game show in Ginge. Ah yes, it's time for the Stray Cast <laughs> Jeopardy edition with Mike Suchan, Ronnie Moore, James Overstreet. And Tommy Sanders. Uh, Hi, Pat. Hey, guys. How you doing? Welcome to the welcome to the game show <laughs> section, part of our show. And uh, we have we have three three. Uh, Hi, Zane. Hi, Zane. We have uh, we have three topics for you today. One is Bass Master Angler of the Years AOIs. Okay, Bass Master Angler of the Years. The other is pop music pop and music and then um famous tommies famous tommies okay so do you guys have the topics it's pop and music bass angler of the years can you tell them about my setup and famous tommies okay okay so of I'm course um the <laughs> oh, who's older overstreet or sanders Oh me, I'm older. Okay, I'm the so, oldest. Okay, so you're your elders first. So Tommy, right. um, pick a, and of course you know the rules of Jeopardy. Um, but okay. what we're gonna do is if you get it right, it's kind of like when you're, you know, R Ronnie, you notice know when you're playing horse and you play keep the ball, you know. So if you get if you get the answer right, you can keep going. All okay. right. Or you no. can or you can pass it. Okay. Okay. So, so it's make it, take it, unless you want to pass. It. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> okay. exactly. Yeah. Thanks. Right. Thanks. I like yeah. how you put that. And uh, right. and I don't know. It might not work. It might work. But we'll make stuff up as we go. So what's your first? What are you gonna pick? What is you? It's uh, Bass Angler of the Years, Pop Music, or Famous Tommies. Well, I'm Tommy, so I'm gonna go Famous Tommies. Famous I guess. Famous Tommies. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Mr. Sanders. This Tommy got Jenny's number off of the bathroom wall. This famous Tommy got Jenny's number off of the bathroom wall. <laughs> Tommy Two-Tone. Tommy Two-Tone is correct. 8675309. 8675309. Very good. Very good. 
Are you going to keep the ball or are you going to keep it going? Okay. Bring it, baby. Yeah. Dude, this so, is, we can be here all night. That, that's yeah, exactly. we, we're almost yeah, we're yeah don't play Trivia right. Pursuit with Tommy. Yeah, we, kill you so that's time, a, 100 buddy. points. Mark that 100 points for Sanders, hey. guys. Okay. okay, you're keeping the ball, Tom? Yep, keeping the ball. Okay, you sticking with Famous Tommies? Same as Famous Tommy, sure. Oh, okay. This Famous Tommy, this is for 300, by the way. This Famous Tommy taught us that if you just take a toke, all your cares go up in smoke. Tommy Chong? Tommy Chong is the correct answer. Right. <laughs> that is correct. Tommy Chong. You are really good at this, Tommy, and your name's Tommy. That's right, because so, I'm Tommy. Yes. Hey, I, I, Tommy, we, we got to get some new meat in this thing now. I got to yeah. get some. I'm going to pass it on. Who are you passing it to? Meat. Who are you passing it to? Uh, we'll, we'll go to the other end. Go to Ronnie Moore. Ronnie right there. Moore. There it yeah. is. So, uh, so we're now, about to reveal how much I don't know. That's okay. It's okay. So, uh, oh, I Sanders has the dumbest guy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> San- Sanders- hey, I'm right here. What are you talking about? <laughs> he resembles that statement. You have 400 points, Tommy Sanders. Remember that because we might not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Write it down. 400. <laughs> yeah, you got the 100 and the 300. Wow. Yeah, and famous Tommy's. Four well, all day long. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, so, uh, Ronnie, it's famous Tommy's. Pop music or Bass Master Angler of the Years? I kind of want to say Angler of the Years because I don't know the other ones well, but if I get <laughs> one wrong in Angler of the Years, it's going to delegitimize everything I do. So, <laughs> why careful. Oh, right. and just delegitimize it right now. It's a lose lose. You're going, so, you're going B A S S A O Y's? Yeah, we'll, we'll take a crack at that. Okay, remember to answer in question form. Okay. Like Mr. Sanders did. Did he? Yes. This. 19. <laughs> I think he did. Hey. I don't think he did. <laughs> Good job, Tommy. The, yeah, uh... I know there's water under the bridge now. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh, this 1985 BASS Angler of the Year invented this lure based on the intro to the television show MASH. Uh, um, I'm just gonna say 1985 BASS Angler of the Year. Who is Roland Martin and the helicopter lure? You, you got, I mean, you went above and beyond his 300 points wow. right there, Ronnie Moore. It is Roland Martin with the helicopter lure. I now see how it. I, just, I now see how it connects to the show. I was worried about that, but helicopter in the show. Okay, I got it. And I must confess, uh, Mr. Ronald Moore, that I made up the mash part. That's yeah, that not, was supposed to be a stumper. That's a true story that I just made up right there. I didn't think about helicopter and mash, but I thought, hey, there's only one angler of the year that early on in BASS that I might remember that would have invented something worth mentioning. So See? Okay. Very See? good. Put Very it good. all together. Put it all. He's, a, he's an idea, man. Nice job, Ronnie. Yes. Um, so, Ronnie, are you keeping the ball or are you passing it? We'll keep it. We'll keep it for one wow. more. Wow. Okay. Are you going? Uh, are you going AOY? Or are you changing topics? We'll go AOY. We're going AOY. So you are keeping score, right, Mister Ninja? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here, here was we it four hundred to three hundred? It, it is. Yeah, you, it you, is. Yeah. You're down one hundred. You're, you're down one hundred, Ronnie. Okay. I'm fighting sure for my job, is. my career right now. The, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Yes. This 1975 B A S S A O Y. <laughs> is famous for saying six, seven, eight, nine, ten pounder. What? Who is Jimmy Houston? Ooh. Nah. Mm. Uh, is it? Oh, it's who is Bill Stanton? That would be wrong again. Um, the, would uh, would anyone like to pick that up? I'm free for all in. I'll go ahead, Mr. Overstreet. J-O, buzzed what, in. What year is it? Seventy five. Yes, sir, Mr. Overstreet. It's rolling again. It's rolling again. That is That's correct. Right. That's We're right. giving. Uh, we are giving hey, oh, James right. Overstreet two hundred points. Two hundred points. Two hundred for the steal. Two hundred for the steal. On official Jeopardy, there, Pat. Who besides Bill? Who is the first animal besides Bill Dance, Roland, and and Jimmy Houston to win an AOI? You know this. You know this. Wait, what was the? Who was the first one besides them? Yeah, besides those three. Who did you? Who did you lose? <laughs> Jimmy Rowland and and, uh, and Bill Murray and, uh, Murray Bill Bobby Murray Murray Bobby Murray yeah. one of the Murrays no Breckenridge 1980 oh 80. oh 1980 Hank Parker Parker, Parker. Uh, no Dash, Arkansas dude Arkansas got it Ricky 
Oh, it's oh man, it's the general. Danny. Oh. It's That's Nixon? Correct. Danny Brower. I'm all confused. General. You guys are saying Larry names. Nixon. Come on. <laughs> Nixon. Larry Nixon. Nixon. Said it. Nixon. There's names really? everywhere. <laughs> Fast legend names <laughs> flying at me. <laughs> <laughs> he was really the first one, aside from those, three, those three, in, three in yeah. nine years. Wow! Wow! That's unbelievable. So where where are we? What are we doing? We Is it, oh, are we? Uh, Ronnie's got the board. No, 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 no. no, no. Overstreet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Overstreet, yeah. Over Are you yeah. keeping the ball or are you passing? And what topic do you want? Yeah, but I already answered two, honest. man. So I'm only going to give it to Sue. I can't. Sue. Okay, give me what. <laughs> Sue's What's for the pop third music. topic? Let's go something else. Okay, so you got. Pop. Let's do what you got. Kind of cool questions. You, you got, got pop here, music. Pat. You got pop music. Um, there's still a famous Tommy question left. I'm doing an interview. Let's do a Tommy. <laughs> yes, do it's a on Facebook Tommy. right now. <laughs> yeah, check out Ronnie Moore. You're live, Ronnie. Yeah. Yes. Do, you, do you need? To, we did it. Do you Hot need, mic, Ronnie. Hot mic. Do you need to sign anything, <laughs> Ronnie? Real quick. You got a sharpie with you? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. I muted the wrong thing. It's probably Earl Campbell. <laughs> wow. It's Earl I'm Campbell. In <laughs> I'm in a parking lot, and and we got security coming around. I got to tell him I'm on Straight Cast Outdoor. Coaching. Hey, put tell the him. doobie out, Ronnie. Put the doobie out. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> The, all right, so Such, are you up or or what's going on? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the time. Okay, is that cool with you, J.O.? Such for time. Pop yeah. music, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm two for rock. two, man. I better not risk it anymore. I, yeah, Such, <laughs> go Such. All right, so what do you got? You got pop music, you got famous Tommies, or you got another AOI? Let's get the other Tommy. Okay, okay. I, I respect that. I respect that. Um, This famous Tommy was the first Tommy to play his instrument upside down suspended over a crowd oh. this famous tommy was the first tommy to play his instrument suspended upside down over a crowd that's not pop music yeah it is kind of <laughs> popular the famous tommy yeah tommy. with a oh, famous headset. tommy with a headset on oh, wow. Yeah, see, Such is, Such is changing. Gosh, it. here's your. Clue. I remember the ELP with the piano going over. I'm just like a Palmer. No, this is upside and, and I down. I should know who this Tommy is. Upside oh, down. I, I, Give him a clue, upside Andy. Upside down. Yes. Legendary released tape. There's your clue. There's the clue. Plays that instrument. Oh, I know who this is. Who, who, who is it, J.O.? Oh, Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're Tommy, Tommy Lee. Lee. <laughs> Tommy Lee. I, I, I'll tell you what. Suits, you're Lee. out. Suits, uh, J.O. gets it. That's another 200 for J.O. Just because he said Tommy Lee Jones is freaking amazing. 400 and, for the steal. Yeah, so th that's for, for the steal Lee. again. Overstreet comes in again. 400. J.O.'s got a commanding lead right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, One more to go. So That's just because Sanders hasn't been asking enough questions. <laughs> yeah, he gave, it, he gave up the bar. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so J.O. has it again. Um, and we, we eliminated famous Tommies. That's done. Uh, there's one AOY left in the full, complete pop music category. Who's up? Now, you tell me, J.O., because you got the ball again. So who do you want to, what do you want to do? Give, let's give oh, it. I'm going to give Suits another Yeah, that's, I agree. <laughs> All right. I, I, I totally agree. Thanks, J.O. Uh, okay. Now, now Suits, <laughs> here is your chance for uh, Suits. Redemption I'm, of some sort. Dude, we're getting, we're giving you, we're playing a little keep the ball catch up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a okay. gimme because I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Just watch to see if Ronnie gets arrested or something. No, I hope. <laughs> we tried our best to set that up, <laughs> but the, <laughs> um, okay. This 1981 BASS Angler of the Year is famous for his catchphrase, "Son." Oh. Why did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Well, well, it's not uh, it's not Jerry Clower, so who is Roland Martin again? <laughs> there who you is go. Roland, Roland, Martin, Roland Martin, Martin was all three answers. That's the deal. That's yeah. there it is. And nine of them. So. Yeah, so it's he got what category? Yeah. Suits he, has the AOI standings pulled up on his computer right now, probably. Yes. So he no, has I got two the list of the AOI winners, not the standings. <laughs> right? He has two hundred two hundred. Well, in the deal, there's only like twenty seven AOI winners yeah, look, in the history of bass. Let's, let's look, if it's before nineteen eighty five, you just guess Rowan Martin. So what's I think the it's, I need a score. I think it's thirty out of forty two or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's mm. J O with six hundred. J.O. has... The AOI's awarded 24 different guys. Tommy yeah, that's what I was getting at. There's not that many yeah, different three, people. No. I think we need to bring it back to give these guys a Hold chance. on a second, kids. That's We're getting out of hand. So, J.O.'s got 600. Yep. Sanders yep. has 400. Yep. 
Ronnie at three. Ronnie, Ronnie at three. three. What does Such have? Two. 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 So no, no. You oh, told me I had like 300 extra bonus points for showing up and not getting arrested or yeah, something. But, like yes, and, and yes. So, so far, so good. We well, took those away. So far, so far, so good. So all we have left is pop music. Um, Mike Suchan, you have the ball. Uh, what are we doing with it? You need to make up ground. I'd suggest you keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it. Okay, let's, let's try one. I don't know pop so much, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, well. Um, give it the old guy that's dry. I'm going to you give you. your roller chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Everybody's I'm getting doing, active. I'm doing chair aerobics right now. Such, I need this chair on aerobics. Facebook. I need you to be this charismatic with me and, and, and kill the fans with this. I need that. See, Ronnie, this is what I do to people. I am like Buddy the Elf of bass fishing. I bring out good I, I cheer. can't get it out of people. You can get it out of people. Thank you. Buddy the Elf. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Um, What does Zona call me? Simple Jack from... Uh, <laughs> Oh my God, Rick! <laughs> I had you pegged a while ago. Your mix of Whiplash from Iron Man and Guard from Wayne's World. Well, thank you so much. I, I like you more now too, Such. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what happened? <laughs> hey, so here's the deal. It's pop music, and I am going to give you this one too, Such. It's because it kind of relates to bass fishing a little Does bit. Does it? Okay, Uh-oh. yeah. Well, we can relate it to bass fishing, so you can get ahead. I, I kind of want you to win a little bit. I'm not going no, to be even honest. Win. Okay. Uh, it, this pop in this 1984 Prince song, Prince said, let's go look for a purple blank. In this 1984 Prince song, Prince said, let's go look for a purple blank. Now, one of, uh, uh one of the guys here is going to give you a clue. Uh, uh, is that you, Ryan? Yeah, th- this blank would be something that would be very taboo to have in a bass boat. Ooh, a purple oh. blank. With this Come on. Well, you can what guess that. What is a purple banana is pretty simple. Purple banana. There you go. There it is. Thank you very much. That was a softball. First song was Raspberry Beret was popped in my head. Okay, and that's 300 points. That's 300 points for Mr. Suchan. So, uh... Uh, uh, Mike, what are you doing? Are you are you keeping the ball? Or are you passing it? Let's keep it one more time, then I'll pass it. Okay, he's keeping it if one I more make time. It. Okay, okay. He's more of a Kobe Bryant. He likes you to shoot the ball. You haven't, okay, haven't subtracted. Yeah. He's a shooter. Are you Shocker. ready here, Mike? Let's go. In 2008, this pop singer let us know that she Uh-oh. kissed a girl and she liked it. In 2008, this pop singer let us know that she kissed a girl and she liked it. Who is Ronnie Moore? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what a real wow. jiggler. What? what? Was that just a, I that know just a this question? One. I know you this are one. a caution, Such. Go ahead. I, 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 I don't know this one. I don't know any of this. Go ahead, oh, Ronnie. Come on. Who is you, know one. You, know one. you know that one. You know that one. Who is it, Ronnie? Tommy knows this one probably. Not even I know that one. No, I know yeah. this one, too. Yeah. Well, I can't think of her name. Who is Katy Perry? Who is exactly. Katy Perry? Yeah, I, I had her in my head, but I couldn't think of her name. Uh huh. That is correct. You had her in your head. We'll okay. split all three of those points with Tommy and Jo since they knew it as well. Yeah. Okay. Now, are you guys ready? This last question um, is a- is for po- rock rock paper scissors. Uh, this is for all the marbles. So, are you guys ready? I need you to rock paper scissor at, at the same time all together. Are you ready? Are we count, going on go? On three. On yeah. three. Or just on three. One, two, three. Sanders won. So okay, I don't even see what he has. I did. <laughs> he won. Sanders he won. won. Nothing beats yeah, Rock. Trust, Sander, trust yeah, us, Ronnie. Sanders won. won. Rock, okay. Sander, <laughs> Sanders won. Okay. Sorry. This is for what do you have? This is for all the marbles. It's for all the marbles. Yeah, Dynamite. And, Rock, and then if Rock. not, it goes to J.O. Okay. And then to Ronnie. And then to, to uh, no, then to Suchin, yeah, well, then to Ronnie. It won't ever get to me. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had chainsaw. What the heck? Are you ready? In 1984, again 1984, Mr. Sanders. Okay. Eddie Van Halen played guitar on this pop singer's song where he told us to beat it. Michael Jackson. Who is? Who is Michael Jackson? Oh, no. Oh, no. He didn't oh, no. The oh, my gosh, Tommy Sanders. Uh-oh. Oh, I missed it? <laughs> well, you didn't say who is. And that, that was, oh. it was I think of, he did it in time. Come it on. Was for, <laughs> it was for all the marbles. And uh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, that brings, uh, we tally it up, and the new reigning king of BASS Broadcasting is Ronnie Moore. <laughs> How did no. this happen? <laughs> um, Andy, I need speech. <laughs> yeah. I need triumphant speech I music Ro uh, for Ronnie. Please, speech. Ronnie, speech. You, right, you have no idea. Change speech music. Hold. Well, uh, uh, Ronnie, just hold on. This is a very important moment. You've just been awarded the straight cast official okay. BASS uh, lead henchman broadcaster. Gee, you're crying out loud. Go ahead, Ronnie. Go ahead. I pray tomorrow Tommy gives me a break. I feel like this is his award that was wrongly given to me, and I don't need incredible amounts of paperwork that he bestows upon our interns. I do not need that rap. Yeah, I'm always doing that, aren't I? Yeah, that's, that's, now you better hurry up and get out of, the, they're gonna kick you out of the Sonic here in about three minutes. <laughs> you get on the move. You gotta get down deeper into the piney woods there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are so happy and elated uh, to bring you tonight this amazing episode with Mike Suchi and Ronnie Moore. James Overstreet, and you, Tommy Sanders. You, Tommy Sanders. Thank you, Thank guys. Thank you. Thank you, all of you Thanks, guys. Thanks, Pat. Straight casts. Dude, come on. Thank you, guys. All of you, seriously. Um, Thanks for doing what you do. Because uh, it's a big freaking deal. All right? It is. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Thank you. Well, thank you for doing what you do, Pat. You're the Toastmaster General of, of bass fishing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I have no hey, idea hey, what that means. <laughs> I think Pat, it's good, I though. You, I think it's good. Thanks. I want you uh, to know, bro. Pat. Yes, Ronnie. What a murder to you. I named my fantasy football league as the commissioner. The league is the Bassin Angels. I just want you to know it's named that, okay? And that's you are my Bassin Angel, Ronnie Moore. I, that's the only way that you can bestow me with an award like that is that I bribed you with being too much of your friend when the award belongs to Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I keep cheers in J.O. Me and J.O. You're the champ, just... Ronnie. You're the champ. I, I give you all the credit. <laughs> you didn't miss a single one. A pack of lures. That's all it took. <laughs> hey, you know what this is real quick? Like, final question. You yeah. know what that is? That's Texas a... stop sign. It's a Texas stop sign. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Whataburger. Exactly, exactly right. <laughs> the Whataburger. Hey, guys, thank you. Thanks for coming on the show. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you Pat. Pat. That's fun. Always enjoy it. Yeah, man. A lot of fun. We'll, we'll, uh, Football, we'll, man. We'll, party on, Pat. Yeah, par party on, Mike Suchan. Party <laughs> on. <laughs> Bass Galaxy, give it up for these guys right there. Tommy Sanders, James Overstreet, Mike Suchan, and Ronnie Moore. Yeah, they're all Bass and Angels. Peace, guys. Hey, um, you know who we got coming on next is uh, Matt Robertson. Matt, oh, look at you, Bassmaster Bandit. The Bassmaster Bandit, Ronnie Moore. Hey, uh, Ronnie, Matt Matt Robertson's coming on next. He just had all his stuff stuff ripped off there at Rayburn. I know. He's Heard still going to catch him. He's yeah. still going to make the final day. He's still going to make the elites. He's in position after all these opens. So he's a, he's a one that doesn't let bad things get him down. He'll be just fine. And but I, he's, whoever he's did do it. They got a pain take coming for him. Well, he caught an eleven seven in practice. I heard too. <laughs> he sure did. Yeah. He he yeah. sure did, and didn't fit in a selfie. And Tommy, what they don't know <laughs> is the people that that um that took his stuff. Once we catch them, James Overstreet is going to determine their punishment. James Overstreet and Clint Eastwood. Yes. 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 Them over. <laughs> Just by looking at him. That's it. Turn him to stone <laughs> like the Medusa's a bassin <laughs> right there. Hey, thanks again, guys. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Please keep doing it, okay? Thank you, bro. You too, Pat. We'll see you, you, too, out. you too, Pat. See you out there, guys. Hey, put the power poles thanks, down. Pat. Don't go anywhere. We're coming back with prize winners and Matt Robertson on them fishing. Be right back. TH Marine Hydrowave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The Hydrowave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish, 
and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The Hydra Wave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor. This is the mountain, and this is mountain whiskey. Unspoiled, untamed, forever wild. There's no safety net, no way down. Up here, it's just man and the mountain and his tin cup. Tin cup whiskey. Mountain whiskey. ignition and liftoff. Bite me! It's a command to the fish. Quality jig heads with quality components. But try to true tackle like the big dude Gobi head, the hunter or Jacob head, or all new tackle like the jackpot net head or buster swim bait head. Bite me! It's a command to the fish. Get the lead out and visit BiteMeTackle.com today. All right. Heck yeah. Welcome back. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty neat, pretty neat. I'm Pat Renwick. This is the glorified version of a, a bass fishing talk show. And and now we bring to you a uh, a weathered, sun-beaten, bass fishing tournament angler on the cusp of the, the dawn before the dream. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you Matthew Robertson on him fishing. My buddy, my friend. Hi, Matt. Hey What's up, dude? Uh, nothing, my... man. Nothing. You keep me up past my bedtime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that's not true. You'll be up to. <laughs> you. Well, be... Whenever you got the bass crew on there, you you're gonna have to, you know, take the take the back seat. Those so. are, those <laughs> are your boys, man. I mean, like you grew I up. Love them guys. You grew up with them too, man. That's right. And uh, that's right. I love. It it um uh, and what's kind of cool is like it's got to be neat for you to hear them like yeah we heard about Matt you know <laughs> like that that Tommy Sanders even knows who a guy and I mean this respectfully like that yeah, even knows yeah. who a guy like me is or even knows who a guy like you Matt Robertson is like that's a big deal dude you know yes I'm a redneck that lives in a trailer park man uh, <laughs> for a guy like Tommy Sanders know who that is that's pretty uh you know. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Dude, um, it is no secret that your dream is to become a Bassmaster Elite Series angler. And, yeah. And you are on your quest. You're doing well. You're having a good 2020. What, do you, what are you at right now, 10? Yeah, 10, 10 points. 10? So I'm set where I need to be. You're, you're sitting where you need to be. Awesome. And you are at, what happened? 
oh, it's your thinger. Uh, and you, and you, I, I'm sorry, R uh, Ryan was doing sign language. But don't uh, don't touch nothing, Ryan. He's coming back. Don't touch. He's trying. Yeah, like Ryan, Ryan's mic. I saw. I got nervous because he, Ryan was going to touch buttons. <laughs> I'm nervous too. <laughs> but dude, um, the fact of the matter is, you're you're trying to live your dream and become an elite series angler, and yeah. it, that is not an easy task at all. <laughs> as it is, okay, it's hours and hours of hard work, um, and aspiration, uh, and learning. And conquest, as Tommy Sanders told us about that bass and triangle. Okay, yes. um, and 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 here's a guy like you working at that, and and your wife picks you up at the ramp on a practice yeah. day with some pretty horrible news, and a lot of people know what happened, and a lot of people don't. So I want to hear it in your words. What happened to you? So she uh, she rode with me to the ramp and uh, dumped me in the water on Monday. And she brought the trailer back to the house that we're staying at and unhooked the trailer. And she had to go get a few, uh, few little groceries, not a whole lot, and uh, grab a few things. Went to, uh, went to the Walmart in Lufkin, Texas. And, you know, wasn't in Walmart for 30 minutes. Come back out. She goes to um, Academy and Sam's Club. And whenever she and she stopped at a gas station on the on the way back, and she saw a frog wedged in the tailgate, or not the tailgate, but the wedged in the bumper, and she's like, "Well, that's kind of odd." Yeah. And, uh, she didn't, you know, she just figured I dropped it in there. Well, <laughs> the wind uh, the windows on my camper shell are tinted, so you can't really see in them unless you you know deliberately put your hand up to it like this and look in. Well, she goes back, and uh, whenever she goes to hook up the trailer that evening to come get me, she uh, she looked in there, and and everything was gone, and she didn't didn't even realize it till that afternoon. And she come and got me, and she was pretty tore up, you know, because she she understands the severity of it. Yeah, and and Ca Cassie, your wife Cassie's an amazing woman, and I. I mean, w that is a dread for any bass angler to have your 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 all your tackle taken. But then imagine how bad it is for Cassie too to have to come break that news to you, man. I mean, that's that has got oh, to be one of the on. hardest things she ever had uh, to do. Yeah, it, it she she was terrified. You know, I mean, uh, I just I, I can't even imagine how she felt. I know how I felt, and I think she felt way worse than I did. You know, uh, she's always supported me in everything I did, and for something like this to happen, she kind of felt like it was her fault, and it, you know it was, and it was, of course, the people who did it's fault. You know, <laughs> an unhonest person. Exactly, and I want to say something that, um, this is not necessarily an uncommon occurrence. We hear stories of, of touring professionals, of open anglers, even weekend guys getting ripped off um, practicing or at, 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 you know, at, at these different events or whatever. And, and mostly it's practicing or at hotels, quite frankly, yeah. It yeah. is where this takes Props place. Props get yeah. ripped off all the time. Now, yeah. um, it's never at events. It themselves nobody's got that much balls to take the stuff right in the parking lot i don't think but no. but it, it's it's at it's you know it, it's in the in-betweens okay yeah and i want to say matthew robertson that i have never in my 51 years of, i'm just gonna say but being a bass fishing fan because i think i was a bass yeah. fan since i came out of the womb but um i've never seen the community come together as strongly as they have for you matt um, yeah, you know, I'm, dude. I'm wow, I, I can't believe it. I'll be honest with you. You know, I just, <clears throat> you know, threw it out there to kind of let people what was go let them let everybody know what was going on, kind of keep an eye out. And, uh, and the way the communities come together, um, I just want to let everybody know I appreciate everything that they've done, just you know, um, anywhere from getting it out there to, uh, you know, I've had. People I don't even know. I'm talking about countless people um, offer to send me tackle, rods, reels. You, I mean, you name it. 
I reached out, my, you know, make sure I didn't need anything. And, you know, I've had people offer to send me money. And I haven't, I'll be honest with you. I, I even though being in the situation I was in, uh, I couldn't take anybody's money, you know. Um, I just couldn't let my conscience do it. I'm a, I'm a regular working guy just like everybody else. And I know how hard everybody works for their money. And although I appreciate the offers, you know, I just, I, could, I couldn't let my conscience do it. Um, but there was one guy named Ivan Bach um, from down here in Texas. Him and uh, the guys over there at Tackle Addict, it's a local tackle shop here in Texas. They, yeah, uh, that's a cool shop. They, yeah, yeah, man. They actually got a, a really nice tackle store and they got an online store. So, um, you be sure to check them out because, man, uh, Tackle they, Attic. Yeah, Tackle yeah. Attic. Yep. I don't know if you, oh, yeah, there the it is right there. Yeah, they, I've but, seen their, I've seen their online store. They, well, I'm going to tell you, they got the fisherman's back. I walked in there and they was like, hey, we got something for you. And uh, Ivan had won a gift card and he gave me the gift card. And uh, I just, I, you know, I felt guilty as it was weighing on my conscience about it. But uh, they gave me the gift card and I didn't spend it all. Uh, I told them to give him the rest of it. But um, I just want to say thanks to him and the guys at Tackle Attic for, for getting me going. And... And also, you know, the rest of the the opens anglers, uh, man, guys I don't even know. You know, I'm getting gas, and uh, a guy next to me, it's like, hey, dude, if uh, if you need anything, you just let me know. I got rods, reels, tackle, anything in my boat. You're welcome to. And and whenever I tell you countless people, um, uh, I can't even count the people that offered me that. You know, that means a lot. Uh, and how the Bassin community has come together and and supported this and support each other whenever something like this happens. Yeah, man, yeah, and that's it, it's it's uh it's awesome, man. It's such a great industry to be involved in. I nowhere near the level of of what you just had happen, but my first year in a bass club, I got a car stolen. Uh, yeah, in Chicago, and I had every ounce of tackle I'd ever owned since I was a kid in the trunk. Never got it back. Next week at a bass club meeting, all these guys dumped a bunch of tackle on me. And that's just, that's how it goes in this industry. You know, it's, uh, everybody's Whatever, looking out for you each other. You had thousands and thousands of shares of your video. Oh, thousands yeah. Yeah. and thousands of shares of that video. Um, so much, in fact, that, um, that the, the, the local news, uh, got a hold of you today. Yeah, you know, we did an interview today, and it was on the local news at 6. Um, a local uh, writer for a couple papers and uh, freelance stuff got a hold of me, and uh, and he's doing an article on it. And, man, I'm just, uh, I'm in I'm in shock and, and appreciate all the support. Um, I mean, they, I mean, whenever I tell you, I got a, I got, I got about two Walmart sacks. Other, <laughs> what's in my boat? I, I literally, whenever I travel, I, I load up everything I own. I know you do. Organized and then them huge Wal, the biggest totes you can get at Walmart. I had seven of them in the back of my truck, and I'm talking about plum loaded. And you've seen my swim bait collection. I sure have. I mean. I'm pretty proud of it. I mean, there's guys who have like more glide baits and whatnot, but all the way around, um, I would consider myself to have one of the more pristine, soft and hard swim bait, you know, collections and, and it's all gone, buddy. I got two packs of Scott's pearls in the boat. So Dude, and I, that's it. I hear it in your voice too. Man. I hate this. And, yeah. uh, and, and, um, I, I, and, and I, and I hate to, I hate to do this, but it's like, I mean, this is the reality of it, Matt, and 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 people should be able to hear in your voice um, the passion that conveys from from losing your prized possessions. Oh yeah. Okay, so, um, but the fact that the community came together, the Bass Galaxy, is because you are a proper Bassin man. That's right. I mean, dude, you are. And this, I is, don't. 
It's an go example. Ahead. It's an example of proper bassing. Go ahead, man. You go ahead. I don't think those guys realized whenever they broke into my truck and unloaded them totes of fishing baits. I don't think they realized who they were messing with. You know, the proper bassing community. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and our proper bass and mafia and they are they're all coming and i'm not talking about myself i'm talking about me you and all the other proper bass and people and even the the people who don't fish you know they're even a part of that community and and everybody's coming together to to help out and and figure things out and help each other absolutely i mean um palinic uh, the Johnstons, Fighter, BASS themselves, uh, Bass University, Ike Live, um, uh, the Zaldanes, everybody, man, like, um, hey, help on them. Help on them. They don't even know your name. They just call you on them. Help on them. No. <laughs> yeah, they think my name is Stray, so I understand. But, do you, um, <laughs> but dude. I appreciate it. Like, I, like, I want to tell everybody thank you, man, uh, and I've tried to respond to every night, you know, every night I've tried to respond to, to, to everybody. And, and yesterday I, I went out there and practiced after it happened. And I just, I put my phone away cause I didn't, yeah. I didn't need nothing, man. I needed to go out there and do what I do and not think about anything. And I, and I get back and I got, I mean, an astronomical amount of messages. I mean, I was, <laughs> Still not done, but um, no, I just want everybody to know I appreciate it. And if I don't get to say thank you to you, know know that I do appreciate it. That's amazing, dude. And and um, every conversation via text or or phone that, that you and I have had since this horrid event happened, the the common occurrence that I have reiterated to you is that you're there for one reason. What's the reason, Matt? Make the elite series. Make the elite series, man. You're there to make yep. the elite series, and and after all this BS, that's gone. That's gonna come out in the yep. wash. There's there's nothing we can do now, and except yep. it's in the hands. It's in the hands of, of of above, if you know what I mean. That's right. And on the earth, but but that's gonna come out in the wash. The, oh yeah, I'm in terms with it now. You know. It is what it is. Are you ready um, to go fishing? That's what I want to know. Are you ready to go catching? I, I'm ready to go catching. I really am. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's not behind me, but it's not weighing on me at all. You know, it, I ain't got no, um, I ain't got no weight on my shoulders over it. And I'm going to go do what I do tomorrow, just like any other time. Exactly, dude. And, um, and uh, I, I don't know. I feel good. I think, uh, I'll be honest. yeah, I'm pretty excited about it because, uh, you know, and I've talked to you a little bit about it. Uh, listen, for those of you, those of you who don't know, I'm a, I'm the youngest old school fisherman that, you know, and I'm going to be throwing baits tomorrow that ain't none of you ever heard of. Cause that's all I had left under the back seat of my truck. So, <laughs> yeah. You know what, Matt, the, these are how, this is how great stories are are started <laughs> think about that the baits i got ain't been made in seven eight ten years and that's what we're going to war with them tomorrow with you know i yeah. i even had uh had wendell overnight me a box of them <laughs> and of course, got that stuff from tackle addicts but you know i'm i think we're, we're gonna kick it old school this week yeah so. bro are you, fli- are you flipping rubber nipples? <laughs> no, that's doodle socking. Are you doodle socking yeah, rubber he's, nipples? He's doodle socking nut- uh, r- rubber nipples with, uh, <laughs> with treble hooks. I like nipples. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Matt, um, so we it's safe for us to make an announcement about an announcement that we're going to make about something that you and I and another fisherman are going to do. So... Oh, yeah. Let's just make an announcement that we are going in true, like, like, like live would like, like, yeah. yeah you okay. know, so, so okay. let's make an announcement that you and I and another fisherman are going to make an announcement. Yes. How's that? And it is, it is a very, very exciting announcement. <laughs> like, like all of you, there is not one basser 
that won't fall over dead in love with this. Are you pregnant? (laughs) (laughs) The three of you? Am I showing? (laughs) Three men and a little lady? Is that what this is? It's going to be the greatest, uh, like, the greatest worst thing ever. If, oh, if, oh, it is. It's going to be a train wreck, but it's going to be a a good, beautiful train wreck. Yes, yes. <laughs> and and Matt and Matt has a a catchphrase too already. So yeah, yeah. It's you're going to love that what is too. It? On him? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I'm not ready for it. The, uh, Are you not? No, <laughs> I'm not ready for it, man. Hey, uh, okay. um, dude, I uh, and the rest of the Bass Galaxy obviously are freaking behind you 100 percent, man yes sir <laughs> like there is not a person out there in the fishing community that does not want to see matt robertson succeed that is the most abundant amount of energy that could possibly be conceived and it's positive and it's heading your way and matt robertson you freaking deserve it dude that's bullshit that happened to you yeah. And it, and it's all going to come out. Thanks, Bass Galaxy. Thanks. You got this shit, man. You got it, dude. You got it. You got it, bro. You, you got it, man. So I'm sorry to keep you up. Oh, you're good, buddy. You're good. <laughs> um, I have to let me cry anyway, you know. You, uh, About 8, 8 o'clock, I was wondering if I, if I got in the shower, if I was going to have to get on the Zoom meeting while I was drying myself off. And lo and behold, I had plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> we have stripper music. We could have played for you. you yeah, know that. yeah. We we could have we could have played that for you. So, um, do you want to? Uh, are you going to do the honors, Matt? Of, yeah. Of giving away the uh, the prizes tonight. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So, what do we got? We got two prizes. Uh, um, we got a bite me one, and uh, uh and you just you love to say bite me anyway, Matt. You just say bite That's me. Right. Right. <laughs> and a line of lure. And a line and lure. So uh, uh, what What would you like? Would you like a drum roll or would you like medieval music, Matt? Let's go with the drum roll. Drum roll. Okay, there we go. Uh, M- Mr. Ninja, a drum roll, please, for Matt Rock. All right. The Bite Me winner is Doug Hayes. Doug Hayes. Hayes. Doug Hayes. Doug Hayes. <laughs> Doug Hayes, you won $50. Worth of bite me tackle. That's a fine, fine assortment of jig heads. Compliments of Brad Zellers right there. And uh, and not, you want to go medieval now? You want medieval? Yeah, let's go medieval. All right, let's go. And the final winner of the evening is presented by Matthew Robertson. It is Matt Heath. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Heath. You won. That was really great. <laughs> You're practicing for announcements about announcements. It, it was. <laughs> it was, Matt. Matt Heath. <laughs> hey, uh, Matt uh, Robertson. Dude, best of luck tomorrow. Appreciate get it, Pat. Yeah, get him. We're, we're all behind you and, uh, and kick some butt, and then, um, and then hopefully we'll have you on next week to tell us all about the good stuff that happens. That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> it sure would. It sure would, man. Get some sleep. Be careful. All right, bye. And may the bass god smile uh, upon you. Stay proper, my proper bass and man. Hey, bud. Matt good luck, Robinson. Matt. Right there. Hey. America's sweetheart. That's Matt. It's my little brother. My little brother, Matt. I once mended his head as it bled profusely on <laughs> Seth Fighter's boat. Stained the carpet of it, his yeah. bass cat. How'd it get that way? Yeah, because I hit him in the back of the head yeah. with a one-ounce yeah, chicken yeah, yeah, yeah. jig. Yeah, Just took my buddy's life. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. I still wake up Watch screaming. Flying chickens. I still wake up screaming, thinking of flying chickens on this thin raft of bass fishing that we all pursue. Just like JP High, because he kind of looks like um, what's that guy's name? Post, Post Malone. Malone. Post Malone. Yeah. Minus a couple hundred tattoos. Yes, JP High has a face tattoo. Of, of a face tattoo. Of a face tattoo of his face. <laughs> yes. Try that on for some. Seems redundant, but he's yes. He's hip. You, Andrew Ellenberger he hired Van Halen for his graduation party and blew all his <laughs> money on Bo Derek's tits. What does that even mean? It's true. It's, it's 
from Fast Times, but I messed it all up. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Dad says you gotta get up. Dad says you gotta get up. Yeah. You're a Jeff, you're a butthole. Yeah. Dad says you gotta wake up, you <laughs> butthole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What was it? Did you see the new Playboy? Yeah. That's what it was. See the new Playboy? I like to. Yeah, Bo, no, Bo yeah. Derek. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Ryan Popcorn Whitaker. He saw the new Playboy. <laughs> yep. There it is. Hey, uh, I'm Pat Renwick, and um, I hope we can see you next week. Oh, 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 oh. oh goodness gracious. Oh. Yes, I know exactly hey, where you're going. Hey, Please say. Everybody. Yes. September 12th. Yes. Before our next show is the start of the Amart Charity Tournament. Oh. Go to amartcharitytournament.com. Yes. Get signed up. You're really dumb if you don't do this. $40,000 in cash and prizes. 100% of the proceeds go to the Martins family. It's only a $50 entry. Includes Big Bass. Uh, you can do this at the venue is the world. So wherever you Anywhere. are, you can do this. Anywhere. It's September 12th through the 20th. So you've got it. You got a full week there to go catch biggest five. Wham! It's on a Connect Scale app, but just go to amartcharitytournament.com. And also, there's still time to get in for the Fish with a Pro auction. And you can fish with names like Kevin Van Dam, Mark Zona, Jacob Wheeler, Jordan Lee, Hank Cherry, Gerald Swindle, Brian Thrift, Dot Defoe, Randy Howell, Danny Brower, Chris Lane, Todd Faircloth, Gary Klaus, Brandon Card, Mark Daniels Jr., David Mullins, Jesse Tegarante, Brent Chapman, Cody Huff. Koto Kiriyama. To name a few. You can just put Applicable your money taxes in. do apply. Say, say states Fish in Arizona, Montana, Montana, and Louisiana. Micro machines are available at a store near you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we will see you guys um, uh, next uh, week, uh, next Wednesday, right here. Same straight cast time. Say straight cast channel. I thank you all who tuned in. I thank you, Tommy Sanders, James Overstreet, Ronnie Moore, and Mike Suchan. Thank you, Crestliner Boats. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Carl. For, thank you, Carl. Yeah, thank you, Carl. For wearing Shop those waders. <laughs> hey, uh, Abu Garcia and Berkeley. I love that Berkeley string. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. <laughs> this was an overrun. Duh. We're on an overrun Duh. right now. Uh, power pull. We, Ryan hummed me. How you going to stop? Need, I still need music. How you gonna... Power pull. Thank you, power pull. Thank you, war eagle. <laughs> I'm yeah, man. I hear TH Marine Line and Lure bow to stern. Yeah. Bite me tackle, man. Ah, yes. What you saying? Alpha Angler, of course. There it is. Hey, um, thank you. Peace. Pat Renwick. See you next time. I'm really out of here this time. Not kidding. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs>